When we last left our heroes, despite some of us being driven insane, Einar had a interesting encounter. Interesting, we'll call it, conversation with his new deity, with Varro. Hi, Papa. The Shadow King. <laughs> No! Stop! <laughs> Not that! Stop! I mean, he gave you his blood. What else do you want? <laughs> Not that. Sir? Enough money to pay off his debt. <laughs> <laughs> Despite having been there before in what was thought to be. Shut up. Despite having been, there, been to the Shattered Realm in what was thought to be a dream. It was a very interesting experience as Einar, instead of being interrogated, found himself able to open a door to the Shattered Realm, where he was able to have this conversation. Meanwhile, uh, Kana and Riss worked with a cleric hired by Sulan in order to... Uh, Revive. In order to bring back uh, Kudo, uh, the new companion of the group, who was apparently uh, here looking for the missing member of the party. <laughs> Members. Either way. They were successful. Barely. And were able to bring him back. After finishing his conversation with the Shadow King himself, including an instance where he was killed. Yeah, wouldn't be the first time. And Won't be the last either. <laughs> and brought back. Einar left the Shattered Realm and found himself standing in some mountainous crags, red sand as far as the eye could see, and heard a voice in his head, a different voice, but a familiar one, as Eroy, the spirit of dreams, was confused, concerned, and just all right, fine. Get your friends there. I guess we're doing this. And that is where we return for tonight's episode of Arc. So, Einar. Pasha let you go. Yes. We return Start with you, boy. looking out over the vast Arisian desert. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Yep. Uh, and I'm alone. Yep. <laughs> in the distance, you do see a... Railroad, right? A railroad. Yeah. And so... I don't um, freaking know where it's going. <laughs> I didn't grow up here. Like Wrong it's desert! Not, it's not going anywhere. It just leads somewhere. Uh, okay, technically, William, <laughs> so shut that your face. Where's that 20 wisdom there, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say earlier? I have yeah, wisdom, I don't use, use it. it. Yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure that would be intelligence. I use charisma, I don't honest. have. No, uh, that's wisdom, buddy. Yeah, common intelligence sense. Intelligence is knowing how it works. Wisdom is knowing what it does. I don't really I'm, know I'm that not sure I would say knows that. how it works. Um, I don't know. I mean, common sense. Uh, oh, yeah, the train tracks aren't going to get up and walk away. Although it's... In a magical land like this, you don't know that. You're going to get up and start walking. Einar doesn't know that. Uh, Einar doesn't know that, yes. For all, for all he knows, the train put the track in front of it as a ghost. No, he knows. Riss would not know that. Riss would not be surprised if the tracks was up and walked. He'd be like, all right. 
So, mm-hmm. anyway. What are you doing? Yeah. Uh, where is the sun? <laughs> if you would like to make a survival check <laughs> to attempt to discern <laughs> roughly what direction various things are in. Went, Thank you. Where is the sun? Look, it, oh, I don't have a compass. Was it night? I think. Night. Do I have a compass? I don't know the what sun pack would I have chose. been going down. Okay. I was about to die. I was like, where's the sun? It's nighttime, but oh. <laughs> where's where's the, moon? the moon? <laughs> yeah, so. Um, Ooh. That's a 30. Tried to kill me. A, a 30. All right. Uh, plus nine. Holy crap. Yeah, you, you are able to discern which way is north, and. Uh, I hope so for a 30. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know that the railroad is. Um, what is that? Sounds that you're hearing. The f- oh no! I don't. I don't like that. <laughs> I know doesn't like that. Um. And it is interesting as you're paying attention. As you're paying attention. They're very distinct noises. Yeah. They're supposed to be. Which you are hearing coming from within the caverns in this cliff face. Oh, shoot. There's caverns by me. Cool. Um, While I'm making my survival check, I'd also Mm -hmm. like to make a perception check to see what's in the dark, scary caverns. Go for it. Because I don't like that. Oh, it's so close to 13, that's but right. I love it's fine, because that makes it, uh, we're doing perception, Perception, right? yep. Uh, that's a, uh, perception. It's 13 plus whatever. 18. There you go. 18. Okay, you look in, um, you don't see anything that you would consider to be dangerous. Um, but with a, a what total? An 18. 18? Yeah. I'm more. That's why you didn't have disadvantage. Um, no, you hear that noise, but you do not see anything. Einar is going to pull a whip out, all right, and just keep it on him. He's gonna pull his other whip out. <laughs> <laughs> And he's going to make sure he is as far away from that cave right now as possible. With a perception of 18 and a survival check of 30, there are multiple cave entrances. This is like a cliff, right? So you can just back up from the cliff? I mean, it's 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 more of a... It's not like a sheer cliff. It's sloped, and you could make your way down without... It's like without an anthill, it. doesn't it? Not exactly like an anthill, but it's not... It's... Ooh, I don't like not that. quite. Yeah. It's... But you do see a number of entrances. I was gonna say cool. That's not cool. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh boy! What time of day is it? It is getting to the be evening. Getting to be evening. Mm-hmm. Great. Um, about how much time left before the sun actually goes down? Maybe mm-hmm. less than an hour. Less than an hour. Okay. So it is evening. As soon as it starts to get dark, by the way, Einar is going to completely cover himself with his um, All right. black tats. <clears throat> Just to, you know, be a little bit harder to detect. Okay. As soon as you the day. Um, okay. Ryan's being a butt. Anyway. Um, yep. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> yes, that's what he... <laughs> As you're watching, you do see um, a... (laughs) We're just going to pretend that those sounds are part of the sounds that Einar is hearing. Um, You do see a small lizard. uh, Just... And at first, doesn't 
seem odd or anything. And then as it kind of just runs up the wall, it's like it's like you know a couple inches long. It's mm -hmm. a tiny little lizard. You look at it and you watch as it blinks. Six eyes. Three on either side of its head. Trey, what have you done to me? <laughs> I don't like any of this. Einar's uncomfortable? No, it's uncomfortable. Um, Einar is going to try and be as stealthy as possible. So right, make a stealth check. I'm going to have to roll a stealth check, which I have no modifier for. Not 20. Dang. Nope, but that's pretty good. This is 17. A 17. All right. Um, that's good. Because you do hear a bit of a warped voice. What languages do you speak? Um, I speak Abyssal. I don't remember where that's from. Celestial, Comet, and Giant. Got it. Uh, you do not recognize what is being said. Is it coming from the lizard? Nope. I was going have... to try and look around to see if there's any anyone or anything around him. You see, coming out of the tunnel, a short creature, bipedal, walking, with this pinkish-gray skin, pointed ears, pair of eyes, two mouths, one on top of the other, and four arms. Like someone has taken two creatures and just <laughs> combined them. Out of curiosity, <laughs> did the uh, lizard have any other extra features besides just the eyes? Uh, with from what you saw, no. Okay. Um, but as you are watching and hiding, mm -hmm. uh. There's just this sensation for a moment. And you look down to confirm, and you don't see anything. But you just have this distinct sensation of something crawling underneath your skin. It's just, it's, it's not painful. It's just this... Ah. Mm. It does not make you feel good. Yeah. Um... Would you like to? Where is... Yes, I know. I'm seeing how many castings I have of sending because I'm probably going to use them all. <laughs> Additionally, the misshapen creature that is walking out and kind of just... No, Does thanks. not seem to notice you. Okay. Ooh. But it is holding... Um, multiple weapons in its hands. Wonderful. It's got like four attacks. Beautiful. Uh, and I will send a picture of it to the Discord. Sweet. Uh, Einar would like to make an Arcana check. I'm assuming it'd be an how Arcana check. How many hands? To four. To find out that if he um, casts okay. Sending and asks Saravina to teleport Riss to him or for him to... Well, yeah, Riss to him. Honestly. Riss and... Um, well, well, well no, I know doesn't like, really know about Kudo. True. Yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, go ahead and make a history or arcana check. History or arcana. I don't think I have very good. I have, I have nothing. Yeah, I have nothing in, in both of them. I, I have no intelligence. <clears throat> I'm just not smart. Yep. Ah, oh, come on! My dice was rolling so well earlier. Uh, that's an eleven. Eleven. That's enough. Um, from what you've experienced before. <sighs> Seravina can make portals using the crown to and from himself. Okay. So he could bring Riss and anyone else yeah. to him and then send them to you. In theory. Einar's <coughs> <coughs> gonna cast sending. Okay. By the way, I've, have you have you seen the picture? Oh, hold on. I have not. Um... I'm probably gonna hate it, aren't I? Does only he get to see it? No, you can all see it. That's disgusting. Yeah. I'm going to. I don't. I don't know if I want this one's soul. 
to be honest. <laughs> I don't want to have to go back to my little castle thing and, and look at that. Who knows? It could be too. <laughs> it probably is worth multiple souls, but um, that's a little. Even Einar is going to be like, mm -mm. even Einar has standards. <laughs> <laughs> They're low, Damn. but he does have them. Um, huh. Einar is going to cast Sending as quietly as he can I to Seravina. Make a stealth check. Have fun. Good it's going to be a nat one. Good I luck. Know I know it. Oh, oh, that's a 22. All right. You are able to speak under your breath, and thanks to the effects of the spell, it is received clearly. What do you say? Help. <laughs> I'm fucked. <laughs> Send Riss to me. I need some help. I've started a mission early. Do you realize how that sounds in certain contexts? Will, you gotta stop thinking like that. I'm that's that would be rip I'm help like You were the only one at this table yeah. You really are, not. yeah. I was not. Yeah, you were. For that Chris one was also thinking about it. <laughs> Alright. Anyway. anyway. May need additional help as well. Okay. Please help fast. <laughs> Thanks. It's twenty five. <laughs> Very nice. Help about four of those words. <laughs> I see. Sit tight, and I will send help. You want to get help? <laughs> help us! <laughs> help my brother! You feeling okay, Trey? It's not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> interesting. It doesn't look like it's happy to be alive. It won't be for long. But... <laughs> So, it could easily solve that problem by itself. Yeah, it's got the armaments. It could. It could. It's not gonna, but it could. Just pull Minecraft. Aim straight up. Pew, pew, <laughs> and wait. Uh-huh. <laughs> I hope. Riss, you have woken up from sleeping most of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, That's right, yeah, we took a nap. Yeah, you did. And um, find yourself uh, receiving a message from a f the familiar voice of Saravina. It appears your friend has gotten himself into a spot of trouble. He requests your aid. I'm going to open a portal in ten minutes. Be prepared. Risk kind of growly. What? Does he really... Can he you respond? Can respond yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um. Okay. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Riss is uh, too sleepy to be uh, snarky or sarcastic. He's gonna... He's like, I got ten minutes. He'll like sit up in bed. You know, make sure he's got everything. Walk over to Kudo's room. Knock first. Am I conscious yet? Yes. Oh, you are conscious. Good. Uh, what? I understand it, but just come into my room in like a couple minutes. Well, you're being rather forward now, aren't you? <laughs> you wish. No, I don't think I do. <laughs> the two of you guys. Regardless, get over here. He gets up out of his bed, just not in a, a good shape. <laughs> well, I guess he's in fine. He has some more scars. Yeah. <laughs> to add to the plethora. Was it a scar? You also or was have it... a minus four to all attacks and ability checks. Yeah, that too. Mm -hmm. As you know, you've taken a long rest, so you yes. only have a minus three. Woohoo! So I'm not going to be much help here. You'll be enough. I was say, you will be help. It's just not as helpful as usual. The, we do have the option, if need be, and we can discuss this once everyone's back together. We do have the option, if need be, to like take another day's rest and scout things out first before we actually go in. That's a good That'll plan. Hey, be on a little bit. You're the strategist now. No fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's you and me. Pick your poison. 
It's going to have to be Einar, because at this point, Einar's the one who just called the shots. So. Yeah, called the shots. Good Man luck. Away, Roy. Yep. And I'm also the one now bargaining with Saravina, so. Yep. I'm the one doing my job. Oh, I don't want your job. Pick it back. Yeah, first he gives you a debt, and then he gives you his job. I tell you what. Look, I'm just, look it's all for me to come back stronger. There you go. And tankier. Tankier. That's a good word. Anyways. <laughs> so, do, is there anything that the two of you do? Oh, yes. So, I assume no issues you come over. Yeah, he comes over and he goes, So, did you get what you were after? Yes, thankfully. Good. Um, sorry about that. I did warn you. It's nothing I ain't ever done before. I figured that would be the case. However, if you do wish to... Um, continue to follow us for whichever reasons. It was a very short conversation that we had. However, portal's going to open up here in a couple minutes. Ooh, we get more fun? More fun. Man, y'all never sleep, do you? Let me tell you something. <laughs> not really. Unless we're in jail, not really. <laughs> Is that a recurring trend? Not really. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> All right, so you, oh, in a few minutes, a portal opens up, and he's going to say, mind your manners, as he steps through. He gives a coy smile and walks through. All right, you find yourself in the familiar and, well, familiar to Riss and unfamiliar to Kudo, uh, the chambers of Seravina's well, his throne room. That's essentially yeah. what it is. As you see on one side, the crown of the unfinished sacred artifact to uh, Amar, the Arid King, which is how uh, Seravina's lackeys have been able to come back time and time again. And upon his head, because he just used it, the crown of the Traveler, sacred artifact to Yin Zi, the Lady Masquerade, mm -hmm. allowing him to cast Gate, which is what he just did. Well then, it's uh, any details before we hop on. Unfortunately, I only have what he told me through sending. Mm -hmm. So. You've been there for 10 minutes, my dude. Oh, Einar's just hiding, waiting. <laughs> True. If that yeah. thing starts to come after him, he is immediately casting. Um, what's it? Uh, it's either Command or there's another one. Um, dominate Person. Mm. One of those two, so that I don't have to fight it myself. Mm. <laughs> okay. Um. Kudo, being a warlock, yep. you have a bit of experience, and so go ahead and make an arcana check. All right. <laughs> Nine. Okay. Uh, I don't have advantage anymore. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, man. <gasps> Why did you just waste that? Natural 20. Uh, I mean... I'm going to use the inspiration that I didn't get last time for that. Think about that statement carefully. <laughs> I know what you said. <laughs> but I really considered giving you inspiration for the you wish. Or the, the, <laughs> the that exchange. <laughs> so I'm going to allow it. Okay, cool. I'll take it. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, we take those. We do. Every I'll time take it. I'll take it. Um, Let's do it. You're familiar with the concept of the spell gate mm. and know that it only works transporting to another plane of existence. Mm -hmm. Which is odd. But, okay. You look around. The more you stand here, the, the longer you're just like feeling where you are. You realize, ah, 
this has to be some sort of demiplane. Mm. Which makes you curious about, okay, these guys have a fairly powerful spellcaster on their side. Yup. That's interesting. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. And so you kind of just know... You have enough experience with high-caliber people that uh, you you don't question a lot. Nope. Um, True. But Serbian continues. (sighs) (sighs) I wish you luck, whatever is going on. He mentioned that he's started a mission early. I do not know what specifically he's referring to, but nevertheless... I am always happy to assist my uh... yeah do we ever just establish a what our relation because he's we, the patron yeah I, I forget I'm always happy to assist my beneficiaries yes now if you're ready I would give time for proper introduction uh, but that will have to wait for another time, as he sounded quite urgent. Yes. Yep! <laughs> you are there. I wish you luck. We, knowing Einar, we will probably need it. <laughs> Send us away, good patron. And a portal opens, and Einar, you see this. As, uh, Riss and... The guy Riss was talking to at, in the museum <laughs> yep. walk through. Einar is immediately going to motion for them to be quiet. And oh, you're going to have to roll initiative. Hang on. Uh, uh, can you roll a perception check real quick? Me? Yeah. Unfortunately, the portal cannot be What'd made stealthily. Yeah, I figured it I might not be. Yes. <laughs> but depending on how no, much it can no. see from there, it might you not know how many people mind. there are. So the more I can keep from it, the better. Well, it, I'm, I'm saying it doesn't... They walk out and see the creature right in front of them, and it sees them. Where did he make this... Where did he make this portal? Like, ten feet from you. How close was I to that creature? Perdon, I was, like, right it. around the corner. Oh, I thought I was, like, 60 feet away watching no. from, from a distance. You're hiding on a cliff face. All right, I'm immediately going to go up and attack it. He's well, go, let's well, roll initiative. No, yeah. Aww. Here, can you move that? This is, this is a good spot. For me. Hey! Oh, I have advantage too. Hot diggity dog. Same thing. What's your roll? 17. Plus cool. 5, 22. Nat 20. Wow! Nat wow. 20. I know. I saw the die. Uh-huh. How's this gonna work? Isn't it What's your. Uh, He's got that a plus is true. Three. Plus 3. But you have a minus 2. Or so you have a minus 3. Uh, so it has yeah. a plus 2, so it goes first. Damn it! So mm. close. Gosh, I got a I got a minus three to everything. Yep. Yep. Disgusting. Still not twenty, so you still get your extra action. Yep. You just it's go lucky. after. Got it. Yeah. Uh, and Einar. Uh, I got a seven. Got it. So the Dolgrim, Dolgrim. is what it's called. That's a fun name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's just going to run towards the two of you. Holy Goonies. <laughs> Um, and it's gonna go for you, cause yep, yeah. <laughs> Rest will yell, "Dear Arya!" as it's charging towards us. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's a twenty-two for the first attack. Damn, uh, disadvantage. That is true. Oh yeah. <coughs> Higher. Ah, yep, that is. All right, for six piercing damage as it hits you with the Morning Star, <laughs> and it's Rude. going to make two more attacks. Uh, that is a 13, which nope. is going to miss. Uh, 9, which is going to miss. It's going to use its extra action to make three more attacks. Three more? It gets three attacks per action. Oh, that's right, because I had a nat 20. Yeah, got a nat 20. Oh. Yep. I uh, thought you did an action surge. I was like, no, I was like what kind of ability is this? I uh, want that. Nope. Misses. I have my shield up. That is true. You have your she shield has now. A shield. Yep. 22. <laughs> ah, he took the red one. <laughs> 22 hits. And 19. Misses. 
So out of six attacks, it only landed two. It does five piercing damage with that second attack. All right. Um, and that is its turn. Uh, Kudo, think... you're up. Cool. Let's see. So I have a minus three to attacks, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Can you have it make a wisdom saving throw for me, please? Against what type of effect? Command. Okay. Oh, you have it too. Nice. That is a ten. Walk. Command. Let me double check, because I do not think command can be used to... Disengage. No, uh, uh, no there is... I mean... I don't have command on it. Um, approach, drop, flee, grovel, halt. Those are all one uh, word. What language do you say this in? Uh, oh, that's a good point. Oh, that's true. Would he have recognized the language it was shouting in? It was... No, it did not sound like it was shouting. <laughs> Sound like it was choking on its own spit in both mouths. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll try. That? One third or two thirds, Trey. What? Mm -hmm. So yeah, one third or two thirds. Probably just one. I don't know. That would be disgusting, though. <laughs> if you like spit up in one mouth, it goes in the other. I mean, it's it's all once it gets past the moving jaw, on. It's all one. We'll just say for right now, uh, common, because he wouldn't have known otherwise. Has no effect. Like the top one. It doesn't have any effects. Right. The spell has Bottom no effect if the target is undead, <laughs> if it doesn't understand your language, or if your command is directly harmful to it. Mm, so it doesn't speak common. Apparently not. Good to know. <laughs> cool. Second action, or I guess attack yep. or whatever. <laughs> First just sees him go, walk. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. So... Why not? Okay. <laughs> Can it make a constitution saving throw, please? Against what kind of effect? Blight. Good gracious. <laughs> okay. Hey, that's a high level one. I used to have that. It's a 14. Nope, that fails. That's 9d8. Like, yeah. Command was an ability feature. That not is a true. leveled spell. That is true. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bending. nine. Nah, I guess that's not rule bending. That's working around it. Forty-six. It's dead. Cool. <laughs> you just release. You kind of just release this dark energy from your hand, and you watch as it swarms around a site that is not unfamiliar to you. Oh yeah, because I used to have that yeah. and then I lost it when I stopped following the water. Mm -hmm. uh, but you watch so as Kudo it just... goes, walk. Now, fine. And it Die. just kind of just <laughs> slumps onto the floor. Rest is going to go, Very what kind dead. of spell is that? Einar pops up from a bush and goes, ah, glad you guys made it. Rest that was it. impressive. Are there more of them? I have no idea. I hope Let's not, get out of that here. was ugly. Perception check. Make a perception check. Non-natural 20. Okay, you hear uh, these very strange sounds, and as you are now paying attention... Good passive gracious. perception of 20. <sighs> you now also feel this sensation of something just crawling under your skin. Is that any kind of magical effect? Mm, not that you can tell. This is gonna look up an eye. Is this the mission? Yes. This is... <sighs> I did not choose this. This just happened. I have no idea where we are, but you already wants us here. This is our mission. How... I'll ask that later. Can we get out of here first? Yes, I would like that. Okay, let's go. I, all right. Riss was like ready to walk in, like, all right, into the belly of the beast type deal. No, we need time to prepare. True. All right. Well, then, let's go uh, prepare. I need you to all make Quietly. me athletic checks and stealth checks. You are trying to climb down a cliff face. Yes, we are. This is That's true. I keep thinking we're standing in front of a cliff, like, on the ground leading up to it. Okay. My athletics Wait. was a 26. There's a cliff. Okay. Can I use acrobatics instead of athletics? 
I mean, that would make sense to me. No, because this is the if this is the equivalent of rock climbing. Mm. Acrobatics would be doing a flip through the air. Gotcha. Rose is going to change his robes to have advantage on stealth checks. Good thing I did that. Um, 26 for stealth, 12 for athletics. Okay, 12 is enough. You, okay. You're... Oh, okay. Yeah. 15 for athletics yep, and fine. 21 for stealth. Got it. Yeah, I only have an 11 for stealth, but I got a 26 for athletics. Got it. <laughs> I got this clue. <laughs> yeah, so Iron makes it down to the bottom first, as long as you guys rolled above, like, Oh, yeah, yeah. I figured that. I figured it was a it's not a one. difficult one. It's just a something that would require a check. Correct. Yeah. Um, but you make it to the bottom, and uh, you find a small, a small, smoldering campfire, uh, just out of sight from where the cave, from where the caves could be seen. With the thirty, do I know how long ago <gasps> this camp was made and how long ago it was abandoned? Well, it's not abandoned. Oh. Oh. Because there is a large figure sitting, kind of just prodding at the embers of the campfire. Cool. So I know for sure that the campfire was made recently. (laughs) We're just going to look over. And with the sword and... Dang it. Sword and shield still out is going to approach and say, Hello, camp. Can we... uh, Pass by, like. For the record, you know this is not how this was supposed to happen. As Iroi right. sits up, <laughs> what are you doing here? To be honest, I don't know. All I know is that this is where I was sent. By. I have a new nickname for Riss. Uh, You're still covered in your darkness, by the way. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Yeah, um, Riss is gonna like nudge him a light. I see. Yeah. So. And then he talked with our patron, and. Yep. Yep. I'm here with. I have a question. Video. Do I see who they're talking to? You do. Okay. Mm-hmm. The, Good question. <laughs> that that is actually a very good question, but Iroy is not making an attempt to hide himself at the moment. Okay. From people's perceptions. Can I ask a quick question? Who are you? And Make why? A check. Hey. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh religion oh. twenty three. As you are asking the question. You, your sentence kind of just falters and just as it dawns on you what they said and <laughs> we're so much Eroy gosh literally and you just go oh 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 who the hell, hell do you people talk to look uh, I gotta be on a demiplane and now a literal demigod what I, is going on I gotta be I honest with you what was I... your name again kudo Kudo. Pleasure. I like friend you. Of, I know. Yeah, I don't remember if we got introduced no, properly. No, you got arrested. I, yes. Very temporarily. Yes. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey, how? It still counts. How what? How did how you did get Ray out of the jail cell? <laughs> I have some very powerful friends. Well, you can call them friends. They're probably not, but... Um, you're, I don't know what you're doing here, for but I'm record, grateful you're here. I do believe I qualify as more I than a demigod. Agreed. Okay. Now, there's not as much preparation time as I would like to give you. Uh, Believe me, I would like more too, but we're here now, so let's see what we can do. He hands you a water skin. Okay. Drink. I know drinks. Pass it between you. Yep. Hands it over to Riss. I'm not that thirsty. Is this required? I grab I know, it from him, him and start chugging I'm just, it. I, I, just a question. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's start trying. This will protect you from the madness that is contained within. Was that the unnerving sensation under my skin? No. Oh, what was that then? A natural effect of the creature that calls this place its palace. Ah, I suppose that he would goes, be the I do not like that noise. <laughs> Nor should you. 
Hmm. What exactly is this creature? And why does it want this friend of yours? This creature is ancient. And it, while it is not a god, it is quite close to one. That is why it is not your mission to destroy it. Good, because I don't think we would be able to do it. A no, Colossus, you yes. Would not. But this, no. It's not my bucket list, but I don't think I could do it today. You have very, very, like. I, I don't want to say you're assuming you can do I have too dreams. much, but it's. Oh, I know that's a big limit. bucket list. I know my limits, yes. So you pick these guys to do this? Oh, don't let our stunningly amazing intelligence <laughs> sway you otherwise. That sentence is crafted on purpose by Will. <laughs> yeah, I can tell that the smart one happens to be missing at the moment. He knows. Oh, right. yeah. Oh, right. I thought it was Makoto. Is, is Ray smarter than Makoto? I, I will. Yes. No. No, he's not. Okay, I didn't no, think I so. I will not tell Ray you said that. I will. I kind of like this. Guy. Anyway, question. If you have the power to protect us from this, whatever it's called, being the spirit of dreams, can you remove this aching fatigue that I have right now? Yes, yes, I, I believe I can. And he kind of just taps the side of your head. Like right on the temple, and mm -hmm. yeah, you will not have to subtract anything from yours. Do I get, do I get the effect Riz. of a long rest or short rest? Uh, Riz leans over and goes, "Yeah, sure. I, I, I know you want the spell slot back." So yes, I do want the spell slot back. Yeah, you get a short rest. <laughs> Riz leans over and goes, "Yeah, he died uh, like twenty four hours ago." So oh, welcome to the club. Oh, you've died too. Yeah, Einar. How many times? Twice now. That was my sixth. Wow, I've got some catching up to do. No, no. I would. Why am I not. the sane one in this group? <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, the person inside is important. The more you know, I have faith in you, but. One of the abilities of the creature within is consuming minds. It is known as the stealer of thoughts. Very well. Mm. And the so less we know, the I'm not going to tell you who they are or why they're here. You can discuss that with them later. Just where are we discussing this later? Uh, probably wherever outside. Wherever you end up going. Oh, uh, all right. Your job is to get in, find them, and get out. Cool. Stealthily. As quickly as possible. Do we have right. a, a so question? No, no more details, but how many of them are there? Them? You said them. Yes, to... It is Was that okay? Figure singular, speech. it gotcha. is not a... Understood. Nope, 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 no more details. As just making sure. as possible. Yes, just making sure we didn't have multiple targets. No. So the formulating one. a plan would be a bad idea then? Not Relatively, necessarily. It's... You assume we normally have a plan. This is true. I'm assuming but nothing. The one thing that I can give you is a signal of sorts to identify your target. If you show them this hand, uh, not motion, uh, symbol of sorts. A gesture, basically? Yes. Okay. If you show them this gesture, they will know that you are here on my behalf and they should trust you and you should be able to use this to make sure you are not being tricked yourselves oh, I was about to ask if only one of us should know this gesture but no this is something we all should know yes okay and it is simply this okay understood curved hand thumb, thumb out thumb outstretched like this a little bit more curved Alright, in other words, a gesture for the chance of success this mission has. Cool. I've seen them succeed at Stranger Things. Tom, does having a pessimistic attitude run 
Is it a popular mindset in paradise? TBD. Wow. Although I just like to have fun. On the topic of unlikely success, I see you have one of my books. We do indeed. Which brings it to two. Wait, I'm sorry. Was our success in that unlikely? Did you think it was likely? Let me tell you something. To have it by this point? Well, I mean, I, I knew we would have it. I just didn't know if it would be quite this quick. It was very much more likely, but someone went berserk. Uh, to be fair, that is just as much your fault as it is mine. Listen, I said, hey, Einar, as a friend, this is a cool little bit about a realm that you've been to. And then you went smash and grab. And the smash was not in your control, but the grab very much was. Kudo sits I down. Know that. Oh, that's know true, that. yeah. Kudo sits down and kind of watches him. It is quite Whoever's talking. Yeah, it is. I'm liking this. Well, he just finishes with smash and grab. Regardless. Regardless. We have it. The creature that you fought. There are many, many more. They're not difficult to kill, nor should you feel concerned about it. Their existence is a warped one. Are they... It seemed forced. Indeed. Are they... By chance, one, are they... Do they have any sort of hive mind or anything? Uh, is there a way questions, of questions, questions. We don't want to know the answer to these things. They, I'm pretty sure they already know about themselves. What? Knowing that we know about them cannot hurt us. That is not untrue. There is not a hive mind, per se. Okay. But so. each one of the Dolgrim is two minds in one. Are they combinations of two creatures that were previously once separate, now combined? A long time ago, yes. That's very disturbing, and I do not like it. Yes. Their existence is, as I said, a warped one. They are kept alive by the strange magic of Dirn. Dirn is who lies within. And upon hearing that noise, after hearing the name, Einar looks back at the mountain, looks at Euro, and goes, Yeah, I don't think I want to meet him. Unfortunately, that noise is not him. I'm... Uh, Iroi, what, what ex... Are those just the doors? Iroi, I know we've done some crazy things. We've literally been to the realm of the gods and fought for three days on end. You just had to bring that up, didn't you? It's my greatest accomplishment, to be honest. Um, but True. this feels, in a way, more difficult than that. In some ways it is. I wish I could do it myself, but the gods are limited. That's a weird concept. With I almost said it. Please power. don't. Oh yeah. <laughs> Please don't. Um, I'm not going to trademark phrase. I don't think it is. It's very hard to trademark a phrase that <laughs> Yeah. Well we will do what we can for you. We will go into the belly of the beast. No, I don't want to end up in the belly of the beast. Uh, yes, figure of speech. Let's stay around the belly of the beast. Actually, I don't even Let's want to be stay around, around the it. mouths of the beast. I don't. I don't even want to be around. The this is mouths. true. Let's, yes. let's stay away from the beast. Could have still sit on the ground, just watching. You must be careful within the palace of Sinu. And yes, that is. As in the... A literal translation? Bodily parts. Yes. Be cautious. And Dolgrim, you should have no problem. No difficulty. Taking care of... Even the Dolgant. Should not pose too much of an issue for you. But... The deeper in you go, the worse things will get. So be on guard. 
Speaking of God, Roos, you didn't happen to grab my shield before oh, you left. I had it. Yes, I did. And he pulls out a red shield, and he goes, this goes very nicely with my red sword, but I will give it to you. Do you have uh, Einar's old shield as well? or Yes. If you would like it, if you want to keep the red shield, I'll take mine back. I gave yours up. Wait, no, he, no, no. you didn't. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. So let, let's see then. If you're make it, yeah, make a deception. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's not good though. Natural, non natural 20, sorry. Oh, yeah, you're gonna. I don't have enough uh, insight to pass that. That's only a 15 for me. He reaches into his bag and says, Oh, wait, it's right. <laughs> good luck. And you blink, and he and the campfire gone. You couldn't have left us the campfire? Kudo, he kind of just. <laughs> oh shit! Well, that was kind of rude. But well, okay. that's also our interaction with these powerful people that we know. You think they'd be a little bit, you know, more considerate, but I guess not. So, as we return, as the outsiders, plus Kudo, and Kudo. Well, ah, for the time being, I, Kudo is an outsider. Hey. Okay. I was going to say, because otherwise I mean, we've only got yeah. half of the outsiders here right now. That's a good point. Yeah. We're like the half outsiders. The half we're, 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 I, 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 I was like either going to go the half siders plus Kudo. Or the, it was either going to be the half Equals, we're screwed. Or the, we're like a cat. We're half inside, half outside. Can't so ninjas out. outsiders. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> I need you all to make me athletics checks as you are climbing the cliffs once more. Oh, oh, damn it. Dang it. Uh, s- did self. We, did we dis- self. Did we dis- self. And self. Did we discuss if we wanted to take a quick rest Ooh. before we go... Well, he's all healed now. That was I'm the good. main thing. Okay. Um, 31 on stealth. 10 on... Athletics? Um, athletics, yes. Okay. 16 on athletics. Uh, 9 on stealth. Okay. Good gracious. Not so good going up. Nope. Going down with 6 on either. athletics. God bless me, dude. I've got athletics. And a 12 for stealth. Hey, it's better okay. than me. Oh, really? Riss will go Nine. first. Nine. Wow. Well, your average... Ah. Eight. Thanks, Riss. ...is <laughs> higher than the Dolgrim's passive perception. Hey. Thank you, Dolgrim. What'd you get on stealth? You got a... 31. <laughs> Jeez. He got more than you and me combined. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> He got way more. We only got, what, 19 combined? No. You got about... 21. 21. Your average is about 17, which is higher than the past perceptions of both the Dolgrim and the Dolgaunt. The what? Dolgaunt. That was the uh, other thing that Perry showed us. Uh, Oh, yeah, the tentacle boy. Yeah. Indeed. Oh, did he send it to you guys? He just showed us. No, I just showed him. Oh. Uh, So, you make your way up. As we're climbing, he's going to say, essentially giving them a rundown again, especially for your benefit of aberrations. No psychic damage. As in, don't use psychic damage against them. Okay. And for the most part, don't get hit by them. They will attempt to possess you. Mm. Well, that was specifically the dream spirits. True. Some will attempt to possess you. If you can avoid it, don't get hit. Wonder Touch, I will say. Ain't Wonder. they uh, weak to light or something? Not inherently for all of them, no. Alright. Well, they may be weak to radiant. I would Maybe just you. light sensitive. They could be. I would encourage you to use radiant damage, yes. I don't suppose they would happen to be vulnerable to necrotic. They don't seem like they would be. Mm-hmm question. Why not psychic damage? Is there a reason? Or are they just immune to it? Inherently psychic damage. It hurts them far less than any other attack. Uh, well, depending on... It might depend on what type they are. That's Riss's way of explaining resistance. Yeah, For you. the most part, it's safe to assume they're resistant to psychic damage, especially if their creatures merge together. Two Guess minds, what damage my hex does? Yep. The entire premise of this class, subclass, 
deals psychic damage uh, over that's, time. That's rough, mm. buddy. Honestly, if it's over time, even if it's just half, it still helps. True. Yep. Well, I have to use it as a bonus action. I don't want to use it as a bonus action. Hmm. Well, if you got nothing else to do with your bonus action. Anyways. Well. So, this whole conversation. How do you want to move forward? I know we'll take the lead. Okay. Uh, you want to put the healer in the front. This is... Einar is the one who's gotten y'all into this mess. He kind of feels responsible for it. So. He, he also go. has, uh, like, infinite dark vision, so... Okay. This I'm is a good the point. Scout. No, the best scout's the one with the stealth. And I have a decent well, amount of survival our, to get back. Okay. If I need to send you out somewhere, yes, that would be better. But if, oh, like, for we leading the group? Like, yes. Yeah, for leading the group, like... Yeah, you know. as a note, there is no light source within the palace. Got it. You have dark vision, I assume, Ryan? Yep. Okay, good. And you do too, right? At 60 wow, feet. our whole party has dark vision? It's wow, this is great! Very nice. I okay. made an anti-ray. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that I got sick and tired of, That's right. I put on this character. There you go. Beautiful. Alright. Uh, Riss will have his inside. shield and short sword out. And... It's strange. You watch the stone. This reddish orange color. Sandstone. The same stone that makes up the cracks and crags of the cliffs. As you delve into this tunnel, your footsteps grow quieter as the rock grows softer and you touch the wall at one point and your hand comes away with this residue as it more resembles decaying flesh he does that disgusting. and he's gonna swipe his hand off real quick <laughs> you look around structural pillars are an ivory white hmm. and the material that makes up these caverns is well it lives up to the name looking like it's entirely made out of muscle and sinew and you watch as the air flows through the tunnels undulate almost as if it was breathing you said belly of the beast we're not in the belly but this isn't better no we're still in it <laughs> gross um well, that's this breathing that we hear. There's nothing in particular that, um, like, there's no creatures in here that we can see or anything like that. I'm going to say like you spend a good ten minutes slowly, quietly working your way down. And each time a creature approaches... You're able to duck into a an alcove or a separate hallway, hiding yourselves. As you've seen, you've passed by multiple dolgrims thus far. The misshapen creatures looking like, and you realize the more of them you see, looks like two goblins. Mm. Just... <laughs> combined in a somewhat horrifying way. But they are not perceptive enough to notice you. Even if you were rolling individually, the only one that they would have noticed it would have been uh, would have been Kudo with your nine. Wow. Wow. Not very perceptive. Passive perception of ten. Mm -hmm. Gee, well, well, uh, ho, ho. they're not very wise, then, are they? Nope. nope. 
good thing. Good. Most of my stuff is wisdom saving throws. I've got some ha, wisdom ha. stuff too. <laughs> Unfortunately, some of my stuff also requires them to be intelligent enough to understand me. So it kind of, it kind of balances out <laughs> a little bit. Yep. Okay. Um. Eroy didn't give us like any map or anything like that. No. Um, and he didn't give me anything. He didn't give me enough information to become familiar with the person. Which is um, kind of the point. Yeah, but it it reduces my ability to be able to track the person because I do have spells that can track them. Mm-hmm. Um. Um, what, traveling down this area anyway, are, are there any patterns or anything that Einar has been able to notice? Anything that could give him an indication of which direction he should be going? Okay, um, go ahead and make a investigation or survival. I'd rather do survival. <laughs> <laughs> investigation I knew, I know, four. investigation is the one that I would, it, it will be a higher DC. For survival, because investigation is the more uh, appropriate skill. However, I'm pretty sure the difference in DC is smaller than the difference in the bonus you get from that skill. Mm. Okay, I mean the difference is a five, so it's probably the same. Okay, yeah, no, that it is. No, it doesn't really matter. So I know nothing. Yeah, you you That's you've kind of been observing, thing. but yeah, even even then you just. Can I help? Just that constant sensation mm. of something yeah. like worms or mm. tentacles underneath your skin. Just you, you can't focus on it. Mm. Um, Riss, however, you realize that uh, you hear something. Hmm. And in this strange, guttural, alien tongue, <laughs> you understand it mm. as you speak deep speech. Mm -hmm. uh, you kind of, with your back against the wall, you just feel that residue like mucus or Ooh. something that is just sticking to you but you know that you kind of have to be that close in order to be stealthy you're able to peek around a corner and you see a tall uh, humanoid figure with pink flesh pointed ears and these writhing tentacles coming off its body uh, it does not appear to have any eyes as you see a doll gaunt mm. of which I will now send a picture nice and it uh, kind of just <laughs> What is it saying? As it approaches a pair of Dolgrim. So, four goblins total, but two creatures. <laughs> <laughs> As it uh, instructs them to go on patrol. Um, because uh, soon... Um, it says you're confused because it says something that you don't recognize at first but then you realize um, that it wasn't a word it was a name hmm. um, and I need to bring up what that name is real quick give me just a moment mm-hmm Uh, 
uh, uh, Fisk. Fisk. T H E S K. Because it tells them to go on patrol because Fesk has questions for the prisoner. All right. Upon hearing this, how far away is it? It's around the corner, so maybe 15, 20 feet. Riss is going to gently, like, tap you as well and motion backwards. All right. I and we're going to look for... He's going to essentially look for a place to hide. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. I want everyone to make another stealth, stealth check. Uh, do I know what's going on? Rips. I tapped you as well, yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's a 10 for me. Okay. Um, Ooh. I... Ooh, we are not stealthy. So, stealth-wise, I will roll, but I'll also um, roll... <laughs> Two nineteens. Um, Do I have one of those? <laughs> no, actually, I'm no, going to Kudo. Kudo needs it. I'm going to use Pass Without Trace as well, and I can roll to be okay. stealthy with that. No, you don't need to. I okay. don't think there are. I'll double wasn't check. That, wasn't that there are stuff? verbal cement. I just pulled it up. Yeah, it yeah. It, it does have verbal. Mm-hmm. Then yeah, go ahead and make a make a stealth check. Yeah. So nineteen on the stealth check to cast, but thirty two oh. total to hide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're fine. Okay. Uh, and so you two have an additional <laughs> plus ten. <laughs> Cool. Which brings your total to? 17. Okay. What'd you roll on the die? Seven. Got it. Cool. Wrong. Um, Six, my bad. Six. Six. I have a plus three to stuff. Got it. So, your total is? With the 10? Yes. 16. 16. 20. 20. And? 42. (laughs) Gosh. Is he hidden from the gods again? He said no, hi. He quite. said hi, and he like. <laughs> yeah, your average is twenty six. That's a little bit more than ten. Oh. You uh, with Riss, Riss sees you two hiding, quote unquote, <laughs> cast the spell and just drags you drags along you like, the hallway no, into an alcove, <laughs> and like you both resist because it's like, oh, gross, 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 and you're just like, no, get in there, and <laughs> you are able to hide in just this. As you realize, the flesh that the wall is made out of is slightly malleable. So you are able to create a little pocket, carve in a way a area to hide in. It's like memory foam. Mm, Yes. Moist crevice. Stop. (laughs) (laughs) Someone say crevice. Crevice. Um, okay, so you I hide there. You there. Um, just... <laughs> she did it first. Um, and then, you wait. Uh, I guess, yeah, I would be at the front of it. So essentially, I'd wait until they passed by. And okay. if they don't pass by. The Dolgrim do pass by after, like, another 20 seconds. He's going to motion to leave and tap his ears just to yeah. listen rather than look. You know, rely on hearing rather. What are so. y'all's passive perceptions? Uh, 15. 20. 12. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Riss, with your 20, you hear, um... Like, not, not, not hooves, but something quadrupedal Pause? running. Yeah. What direction? Is it towards us? Uh, make an intelligence check. Oh, good lord. All right. Nine. Nine? You can't tell. Rats. Nope, probably not those. <laughs> probably much probably a little bit rat. bigger. He is essentially going to motion. <laughs> He's literally going to do this. Like, It's up to you all to determine if you know what this means. Uh, well, he will, and then he'll whisper. Something's might be coming. Yep, Einar's already got his shield on his arm. He's, he's at a, yeah. He's are you doing anything to do prepare that? Einar's yep. getting ready. He's also gonna. The prisoner's being interrogated. If we find someone else, we'll follow them. And uh, he'll peek around the next corner, look around for anything, especially 
of the thing running. Uh, you realize you hear more than one pair set. Yeah, oh, good lord. Um, and you see round the corner. Um, some of these hallways are fairly long and just kind of stretch on. Uh, but the deeper down you've gone, the more kind of winding and a lot of corners you can't really see very far. Mm -hmm. uh, so audio is a big part of how you're determining when something is coming. Because um, most of the creatures in here aren't bothering to be stealthy. Yeah. Uh, you watch as two of these. Um, like a brain with four legs. Oh <laughs> my gosh, these things. No, Noah, Noah, these aren't funny. <laughs> they are pretty, pretty hilarious. I know what these are. As two intellect devourers. They're not funny, There's, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They're intellect devourers. There is nothing of my intellect for them to devour. <laughs> Which means it'll be very easy for them. <laughs> okay, so oh. I do I see them, like, come around a the bend? They are coming straight for you. Ah, because it doesn't matter how good you hide. <laughs> they have a feature called Detect Sentience. Cool. Riss is going to cast. Um, I need you to roll initiative. Yep, okay. Nice. Oh, that's pretty good. Ooh. <laughs> all right, all right. It's even better. Take it. 17. Aight. So... Uh, 17 for Riss. Einar? 18. 18. Kudo. Nice. 22. Dang. All right. We're ready this time. Yeah. With your minus three? Nope. He doesn't nope. have that anymore. No, he got, anymore. Uh, he got restored by Eroy. Eroy. And he said, sure to ask. He said, dream man. be well, my son. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kudo. Uh, awesome. They are both running towards you. What do you do? Cool. I'm going to hit them with Eldritch Blast, and I'm going to back up to my movement speed. Okay. Go for it. Sweet. Ugh, first Eldritch Blast is a 17 plus numbers. Okay. Second Eldritch Blast is a uh, 17 to hit. Uh, 17 hits. D10s. Where are my D10s? Alright. And third Eldritch Blast is a natural 20. Got him. Okay. Alright. All aimed at the... First one? Yeah. Do brain Got dogs it. yipe if they get hit? So. <laughs> we don't know. I don't think they have a mouth. Eight I don't think they can. Plus. Eight. Eight. All right. Plus ten. Plus ten. Ugh. Anyway. All right. So, so that close. is. 27. 27. As the three bolt to make contact. Doom, 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 um, and tear through. It is heavily. It's not blood. Oh. It's something. But it's not blood. We got brain that's juice. That's like pus. Oh, why must you use that Ew. noun? <laughs> um, it's more like gray matter. Okay. Brain Gross. juice. Yeah. Brain juice, yeah. It just is, it is looking very, very hurt. I'm so mad. I'm so, so hang on. Can I do anything else? <laughs> How close are they? So I was going to cast a spell, but if they're really close, I'm going to prepare my action instead. Or attack with uh, my sword. They're like 15 feet away. Oh, well, yes, I will attack with my sword instead. Yeah. No, like, I you couldn't I... see them until they had come around a corner and were mm. about 15 feet away. Gotcha. I can't, I can't do anymore. Because that's all I can do, right? A cantrip. <laughs> I mean, do you have anything you can do as a bonus action? I have a couple of things, but nothing that deals... Okay. Um, move your yep. movement speed. Don't get sucked here. Yep. Um, Don't I'm get your intelligence sucked out. As far back as I can. Got it. All right. Einar. Getting out of their range. Um, Einar is going to follow Kudo's uh, move, and he is going to cast. Um, da, 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 da. Um, why are my cantrips not there? Uh, there we go. Um, Einar is going to cast Sacred Flame on the one that he attacked. Mm. I, that, what kind of save is that? That's a dex save. That is a 10. That fails. <laughs> I'll take 3d8. Does it have more than nice. three hit points? No, it doesn't. It's dead. Oh, it has right. three. It's you dead. Oh, are you freaking Perfect. kidding me? I could have one-shot it. Yep. You could have. Yeah, well, yes, you were so close. It has 30 health. You did 27 damage. Mm. I'm ripped. 
Although that last Elders Blast just coming in was awesome. Yeah, even though that was a one, keep in mind, you still did more damage with that than you could have on a normal blast. Mm-hmm. Max is 30. I know, but... I would have had to have maxed all three of them. Right, but keep in mind, that third attack where you rolled a one, you did 11 damage. Because well, that was the crit. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Fun enough. Uh-huh. So, there are yeah. worse outcomes. There are. Mm-hmm. So we know they have 30 health. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, it's dead. Sweet. And there's two um, of them? Uh, there's there were. now one of them. <laughs> yes. Um, unfortunately, I think that's... I, I can only do... Uh, this is the thing I don't like about playing spellcasters. You only get one attack. Single cast, man. But, uh, yeah, it, so... It can be strong, though. Uh, I mean, it can be. Yeah. Um, <laughs> bonus actions. Um, how long does that last for? Had, Ten like, minutes? Twelve um, health. Oh, it did. Yeah. I didn't know how the much Dolgrims are challenge rating half. I didn't oh know gosh. that. You, you, you gave no quarter. Song. You were like <laughs> on something that's challenge rating one half. I had a pink stomach for ten minutes. Yeah. I didn't know if there no. were more. The that's wisest, fair. Th- the wisest thing for me to do was to wait. For backup. It was. Yeah, it was. And I burnt something because I didn't know what kind of other effects yeah. this thing might have on mm-hmm. it. So I went, you know what? He said, die. I'm going to He drop said, walk, it. die. <laughs> yep. yep. All right. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah. I know going to move like another um, 20 feet back, though. Got it. To be back where. How far back did you move? 30 feet. Oh, your full movement? Okay. Um, I know going to move just like up to five feet in front of him. So 25 feet backwards. Okay. Just to, you know, get a little distance. But doesn't quite want to, you know, go away from Riss. I <laughs> appreciate that. Yep. So, uh, Riss, you're up. Riss is going to hold his action and bonus action steady aim. Hey. With the trigger being once he comes in reach, short sword attack. Understood. <laughs> um, okay. You might not need to come in within reach, to be honest. It is going to come towards you, but it stops 10 feet away. You have to make an intelligence saving throw. Well, oh my rip. gosh. Rip that for wrist. Uh, 13. Freaking vegetable. <laughs> 13 passes. <gasps> really? <sighs> By one. Wow. All right. Good, my plus one to intelligence saving throws might be enough to save me. <laughs> okay, well, that is good to know. But now I can't do anything until my turn, right? Uh, because the trigger never... Well, trigger, I guess, can still happen. It uses... Okay, and then it's going to... It is then, seeing that that failed, going to move in to make a claw attack. So you stab it. Yes. And I... Well, make an attack roll. Yes. It's possible you miss. Two attack rolls. Uh, 13. Hits. You, like, literally cannot miss it unless you roll. Yeah, I was going to say. And then, yeah, 20-something. Um, so that's going to be 3d6. And, well, okay, another d6, because first one's going to be sneak attack. <laughs> that's a lot of die. Yeah. How do you get sneak attack? Steady aim. Damn. <laughs> Um, so 21 on the first hit, and then... On the first hit, he's got another. 10 on the second. Hey! <laughs> Smack. So you deal how much damage 30, total? 31 damage. 31 damage. No. As you no. just kind of shoo, Let me tell stab you. directly, and you like split the hemispheres mm. of the brain. Just shoo. Delicious. Just kind of flicking the this just gray ooze off of your blade. I hate these guys. Yeah, we should probably avoid them. As stay further back, because uh, stay very aware of our surroundings. Here. Yes. However, I say we go where they came from. We probably would be. All right. Make a stealth check. Intelligent. And Pass Without Trace is still up, unless we have been out for longer than an hour? It I think minutes? it's ten minutes, but okay, yeah, I might have I been don't gone know by for then. sure. I'll check. Better. Nope, hour. Never mind. All right, yeah. Sweet. 
Yep. Okay. Yeah. If passed without a trace, is still going. It's a 19. <laughs> so what'd you roll on the die? Oh, the a 7 plus a 2 with guidance. Okay. So that is a 19. Die. Yeah. So 19. So 19. 36. 36. 13 on the die, so 23 with pass without a trace. There you go. We kind of even out there. Well, Again, a 26. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well done. So you make your way, moving once more down these tunnels of flesh and bone. And uh, you come across the hallway where... Um, where you had previously seen the Dolgaunt dismiss the two Dolgrim. And it is standing there at attention, appearing to wait. Just, we're just waiting? Mm hmm. Does it seem like we it knows we're there? Would that be insight? Go ahead and make an insight check, yeah. I'll do the same thing. Go for it. Can I make one too? Yeah, sure. Yeah. We're, all three of us are just gonna peek our head around Scooby the corner. Style. Yeah, yep. pretty much. Just yeah. Do do do. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mine fries still better. That's not bad. Fifteen. Twenty. There you go. Four. You can be Fred. Yes. Twenty-four. <laughs> Twenty-six. Oh, you can be Velma. Modifier for that. <laughs> all right. Got almost a high modifier as I do. What do you have? A plus nine. I have a plus nine. You plus plus seven. seven. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Very good. Very good. All three of you. Um, okay, Riss, you don't think that he's waiting for you. Hmm. So you're able to discern that much. He doesn't seem to have noticed you. The two of you notice his stance with a 24 and 26, respectively. It very much looks like a soldier waiting for a superior officer. Mm. waiting to receive them kind of situation interesting so we can get some good information yeah. wait here. we attack or do we wait wait do, are we sure we want to wait because that he did mention earlier he was waiting for a test right stage whisper oh that's right he well, was we're why, whispering that's why now I got closer yes. to the mic <laughs> we he did say he was waiting for a Tesh or Tesk to interrogate. This may be the person we need to lead us Thesk. to. Th Thesk? T -h -e -s -k. T -h. T-H-E-S-K. T-H-E-S-K. Thesk. The hell is a Thesk? Sorry. What the hell I'm, is a Thesk? I believe that was the name. The name of the superior. Like the personal name. Like okay. Did he say why he was waiting for them? To interrogate the prisoner. So, so what we do is we wait for them to show up with the prisoner and see if that's the one. I say we then follow we them. Well, yeah. Yes. Then but we yeah. can kick this thing's ass. Then we kill them, yes. I will say, with a passive perception of 20, those growls that you've heard echoing throughout the cave definitely sound closer. Uh, can I make a... I... Okay, so... This is Noah being like, I don't like this, but I have the feeling that this Thesk thing, creature, guy, whatever he is, um, he's probably some sort of creature that can, like, literally fillet a mind and, like, take whatever it needs. So I have the feeling we're probably on the clock here. We probably need to get to this prisoner because i'm assuming this prisoner if it's important eroy is a demigod oh um, is important eroy is a god spirit. okay eroy is a god an actual god eroy is yes. a god and someone that is important to him is captured here huh. i cannot think of another target that would be more important to interrogate than that uh riss will hold up a finger and I guess we make an intelligence check to see how far away the growls are. Like, if I could determine it based on of being here. Okay, yeah, you can make a... You can make a perception check. Perception check? Perception. Yeah. Can I do the same thing? Mm-hmm. Fifteen. Fifteen? 
Not 19. immediately close, but louder than it was from the outside. You've definitely... And, like, with how big you're judging this structure to be, you've definitely been moving in its direction. There's never been a point where you've taken a turn and moved for a distance, and it's been further away. Do either of you have spells to instruct that thing or bidding? Uh, I can only give it if one it, word. Yeah. Only if it can understand me. I can speak the language. I'll tell you what to say. I, I, I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> no, actually, I think that would. As long as it understands. Like if Your I only trans- s- Yours was a translation issue. True. Yeah. So if I knew the command for, like, you know, forward or whatnot. What would forward. be the best way, then, to instruct it to take us to the prisoner? Or also, just... keep in mind, command lasts for one round. Oh. Yeah. Would forget work if we walk by it? Let me let me read my my spell here yeah. because I may have a chance. It will be one chance if this does what I want it to. However, well, as you are standing there and debating, good. you watch, especially with a twenty and a fifteen with passive perception. Mm-hmm. The dull gaunt <laughs> straighten up even more. How far away from the little are we from the dull gaunt? 20, 25 feet. Gotcha. Again, around a corner. Yeah. Okay. You are using corners to your advantage. Mm-hmm. A lot. Yeah. Yep. And you watch a humanoid figure, hands crossed, approach. I'd like you all to make perception checks. Oh. Do I need to? Mm-hmm. Okay. Who? <gasps> I know exactly what this person is. I can see everything with my dark vision and be peering out the side because I got a natural 20. Very 22 nice. for myself. Just because that was cocked, just no. to see if it's... 11. Oh, 11. I literally maxed out. Very Jeez. nice. Very nice. A max out of what exactly? You, this is perception. Uh-huh. Well, I maxed my guidance die. I maxed my actual die. And so my perception is a plus five, so I got a 29. Yeah. Very nice. Nat- natural 20. 29. Yeah. You watch as a creature that almost looks like it has an octopus for a head, as a mind flayer. I was going to say, is that a mind flayer? (laughs) Yep. I told you. Approaches. I've fought these before. Was it Princess? That's right. We fought these in something. Yeah. When did we fight him? We encountered one in Princess. Did you? Did not fight it. You're right. It it teleported away. No, it teleported away. Okay. I thought it, like, walked out through. Wait, no, yes, that is what happened. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's right. You fought mm. an intellect of our and uh, it almost uh, killed uh. one of you. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. But Fesk, the mind flare, approaches the Dolgaunt. And the Dolgaunt uh, begins to lead the mind flare down the hall. Are there any other guards or anything following Thesk? Or does he appear to be alone? Uh, with a natural 20, he appears to be alone. Good. Riss will hold a hand. Oh, oh. With a natural 20. Yes. Have I been able to observe enough to cast spells to find him? To find Thesk? Yes. I will say yeah, absolutely. Okay. I can now track somebody. Good. Good. Then track him from around a football field's length away. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I can track it from three football fields away, so yes, we can do that. Let's do that one instead. Understood. Uh, let me real quick find out how long that spell lasts. Uh, <laughs> no gate creature. God, what do you sound like? There's, <laughs> there's some movie where it's like. <laughs> He's like, it's, it's like, like any Muppets movie. No, no, not that. I'll think of it. <laughs> it's Hammy as he's going supersonic speed after drinking the caffeine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love Hammy. Oh gosh. Um, 
Uh, concentration up to an hour. So for I, an hour, I can okay. know exactly where Keep this mind, guy is. The further back you are, the more time it has with the prisoner. Yes. Oh, we're not spending a whole football fields away. We're staying a couple turns away. Okay. Yeah. So Understood. like, I mean, I'm assuming these halls aren't more than like 50 feet before they turn, right? Yeah. yeah. They and so, honestly, it's it's not even 50 feet before they turn. It's more like it's a constant like. Oh, okay. So it's not like straighter halls. No. Kind of see that. It's like it's this like is veins all... and arteries. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. So yeah, we'll stay. What would that be like? 100 feet back. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Mm, I'd want to be closer. You want to be closer? We can be closer. Let's we'll be that. we'll be far enough back that they can it get would to take us in like around. two turns for them to get to us. That probably is about eighty though, because I don't want to be within like cause the dog's range. It stopped at ten feet to use its feet. I bet the mind player is three times that, so I would say at least seventy feet away. Enough for us to attack from distance with a movement, but hopefully not enough for them. Because we all have bows or cantrips that we can use. And this is Riss talking about. However, as we proceed, I would advise Einar, you lead. Yep. Kudo, bring up the rear. Smoke anyone with that Eldritch Blast if they start tailing us. Boom. Okay. I want you all to make another stealth check. Mm -hmm. um, are you casting... Uh, what do you what what do you cast? Locate creature. Mm -hmm. To are you casting that now? I'll cast it once he's a little ways down the hall, so he gets sure. a little bit farther away from me. He will not be able to see me, and hopefully, if I whisper, will not be able to hear me. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm not concerned with that. I'm more so about spacing, like oh, how far spacing. you let him go down. Like but I we, probably path, wait like pass without trace ten seconds pass, or something. Pass without trace. Yeah. Pass without trace between that and. The way y'all been rolling, which is pretty decent. Ha ha! Ha! Yeah, like nice, nice, nice. The last two times you've averaged twenty six. So yeah, you had to roll pretty, pretty low for us not to do that again because I got thirty nine. Yeah. yeah, my total would be uh, so, twenty nine. Thirty nine, twenty nine, and fifteen. Fifteen Wait, total. Yeah. Yep, that was a two. Yeah, your Whoa. total, your average total this time is twenty eight. There we go. I like it. Good job, you two. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky I didn't nat one. Briss is like that is, that is pretty much what's what's yeah. on the line here. Yep. Briss is like don't step where we step. <laughs> That's why he's bringing up the rear. Yep. He's farthest away. Yep. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah, it doesn't. The mind flare does not have any inherent abilities that would allow it to detect your presence. Hmm. It has detect thoughts at will, but that's on a creature you can see. It has telepathy, but again, that's a creature you can see. That'd be mm -hmm. really annoying to have detect thoughts, but you can't, you don't have to see it you just constantly hear other people's thoughts. No yeah, way. Professor X level, yeah. Yeah. So, with a group check of 28 on stealth, you follow behind. He travels for a little while, and uh, you sense that he stops. I'll motion, just quick whisper. He stopped. Keep moving I'm gonna, forward. Yeah, we'll move forward a little bit, but Einar will not go closer than. Because I can tell exactly how far away I am. While from this we're walking, creature, right? I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on Thesk. Uh, how far away? Do you, like how 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 much range do you have? Well, Three? actually, no, I will not do that yet because I have to drop pass without trace because that's concentration yeah. as well. So I will not do that yet. Yeah. Wait until we're ready to engage in combat. And when we engage, because we don't necessarily know if this is like. The area where they're going True. into. Riss this is going could be to, a stop along the way. So. Riz is going to say, if we engage in combat, I strike first. <clears throat> Einar is going to get, we'll say within like, how, how far would you consider hearing distance? It's all about stealth, <laughs> really. Well, they're not trying to be stealthy because they don't know where. Oh, oh. That's true. Uh, so what was the what was the question? How far would um, or how 
how close would I have to get in order to be able to hear these creatures? Um, audible range is... Seventy feet. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna get so within thirty we're, feet. We're already within that amount. I was gonna say like fifty feet. I want to be thirty feet away. All right. All right. Um, Riss, Riss is comfortable with that as long as. And I summon. Stealthy, which we do. I, and I, I summon my packed weapon. Okay. I know your sword. Will motion to Riss. Einar's gonna tap on his ear. To kind of suggest, like, mm -hmm. listen to what they're saying, because mm -hmm. if you can understand it. We cannot. You do not hear anything. Mind speak. Mind flayers speak telepathically. No, what do I see in front of me? You don't. You're far enough behind that you. I'm. Th I move thirty feet. Okay. Yeah. Rest uh, will move with okay, him. Go ahead and make a perception check. Yeah. Okay. Natural twenty. Beautiful. Ooh, very beautiful, nice. Beautiful. Those gems don't they coming in handy? Wrist will to you, like, your look sword hand. The, uh, look around the corner, and you see the Dolgunt. That, and you all hear this as the Dolgunt slams the, uh, the bars. More like a oh. construction of bone. Yeah. A cage. And tendon. Yeah. Yeah, a cage. Uh, and you, there is no metallic clang, just this <laughs> um, a little crunch, a little bit. Riss is going to motion run, or oh, sorry, will hold your, put mm -hmm. a hand on your sword hand. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you. Einar is going to obviously Riss get closer to them. Draw his bow back. I'm going to curse Take the mind flayer with okay. hex curse. And yeah, I'm going to say... I want to know what I see first. We're going to... So we're, we're going to enter initiative order. Yeah. Not because combat is starting, okay. but to make a... To give an organized... Yeah. System. They, combat yeah. has not started. Right. He does not know you are there. Okay. Ooh, but nice. we're still going to go in initiative order. Okay. Yeah. So I want you guys to roll initiative. <laughs> you roll well. This, this dice is rolling a lot better for me today than it did yesterday. Mm. Yesterday was it rolled what like two or three ones? It likes Einar more. It it does it like you know that's true. It it these you dice do know that they're. Dice. You should have used your blue dice. I should have. I should have. But <laughs> well, I liked the gemstone dice. So the gemstone I, dice I do like the gemstone dice, although it didn't do me. It was close. It was really close. Yeah, nineteen is right there. It was really with a grim. seventeen you, around you it too. Almost... Look at that. I have nineteen, okay. seventeen, and sixteen Riss. around that. That's twenty-three. Twenty-three. Einar. Nineteen. 19. Kudo. 6. What is your bonus? Plus 3. Why? Someone also will say. <laughs> yes! I know the answer to that question. Riss, <coughs> okay. upon seeing his target and seeing he's a little frustrated, especially with a gesture from uh, Kudo on the natural 20 perception, that it's all clear to go. We'll draw back. Take a breath to steady aim. Oh, it's an auto crit. Well, this is for sneak attack damage. Oh, it's a prize though, so it automatically gets it. Uh, you don't have a. I don't think you have advantage on a creature that is surprised. Let me see. They just don't act on their turn. Um. Yeah, because I know there are a lot of abilities for, but I don't think it's like you have. Okay, so you're not. Never mind. I was yeah. thinking of the assassin. Oh, you have advantage on attack rolls against any creature that hasn't taken a turn in combat there you go. yet. Yeah. So you do. You are yeah. assassin. Mm-hmm. All right. Nice. Well, that wasn't very good, uh, but with my bow, that definitely does hit for we, a. We assume. Yeah, this twenty-three. Thing could have crazy armor class. Twenty-three to hit. I don't think it does. Probably not. But <laughs> now, also, question for the DM: Is this just going to be my first attack that does the crit as a surprise, or will my second arrow also? Uh, it's an auto crit. Only one of them can do sneak attack damage. But any attack you make against a creature that has not taken a turn in combat yet is an automatic crit. Really? Beautiful. Assassin, Guess a, what? It is a crit. Well, that that's not helpful now. No, yeah. Well, it's a double crit. 
if it's allowed. <laughs> um, it's not. Yeah. Unfortunately, no. that's um, not a mechanic. But both oh, well. attacks hit because one's okay. natural 20 is definitely so, hit. First off. Yes. So nothing that any of y'all have done. Had, you, I, everyone was saying something at once. Oh, okay. yes. So we're. I'm going to describe what you saw first. Oh, okay. okay. And then we will go in initiative order for whatever you wanted to do. Gotcha. I cool. hexed him before we rolled for initiative. I want to make that clear. All right, that was the first thing I heard, mm -hmm. so I will allow that, especially because you got a nat 20 on perception. Okay. That is the that is the extra thing you're getting for that. That's So that I is the like only it. thing that has happened thus far. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you watch as the Dolgunt kind of just slams on the cage, and you hear this kind of cracking of a bone, and the Mind Flayer just turns and um, basically backhands it. And it kind of just, just kind of crouches on the ground, its tentacles writhing around it. This mind player has very strong Darth Vader vibes. I just realized. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, and you, but you see, it is still dark. But you have, you have uh, dark the invocation. Feet, yeah, one hundred and twenty. If you have the invocation. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. you see a humanoid figure because you can't make out a lot of details, mm -hmm. but sitting in the back of a chamber with that bone cage wall in between. They are just sitting kind of back against the wall, knees kind of up, hands together, not really moving much. You still haven't heard the Mind Flyer say anything. Mm -hmm. But it gestures and moves as if it's communicating to the figure. And as it does so, you cast your hex. Mm -hmm. Riss, you're up first. All right. <laughs> Two attack rolls. Okay. One was a natural 20, but I automatically crit. Yep. One was a 23 to hit. Both hit. Okay. Well, you are attacking the Mind Flayer? Correct. Got it. So I'm going ahead and try and do all damage. So that's going to be 1d4. Um, okay. And then, so okay, well, yeah. Tell me what die, what yes. dice your attack does, because you've got like ten different things. Oh, very much. Yes. <laughs> um, I did not have the opportunity to cast Hunter's Mark, but I'm okay with that. Um, so this is going to be a you D4 cast of, it ahead of time. I did it for to. St I have to drop past that trace. Ah, yeah. I see. Um, I'm going to do D4 of psychic damage. Okay. Mm. Three D6 of sneak attack damage. Didn't we say that psychic damage doesn't do well? I'm just doing it just in case. Okay. <laughs> if even it's one point, it's one point. True. Um, and then um, two d8s of magical piercing damage plus sixteen, and then I roll again. That was only for. Yeah, so that's all, that was all of it. That's the first attack. Yes. Well, so, that's the first attack. The first attack the, total. Yeah. Sorry, I was dealing with something I didn't register. <laughs> you just said I'm so sorry. <sighs> no, you're good. So, D4 psychic damage. Uh huh. Uh, sneak attack is 3D6. 3D6. And then both attacks with the longbow are two. So, first one attack. A, first attack is 1D8 magical piercing. Okay. Plus 8 on the, as just damage. Well, Ooh. all of those dice get doubled on a crit. <coughs> yes. So you do 30 uh -huh. plus a d4, 3d6, and a d8. Plus a d4, plus a 3d6, plus a d8. Okay, yes. And uh, then it plus an additional... Um, yeah, plus then an additional plus 8. Yeah. So it's 38 plus 1d4, 3d6, and 1d8. Yes. Ooh, not bad. So two more psychic damage. Okay. And then 14 more magical piercing. Okay. For a total of 54 on the first strike. Mm -hmm. Nice. Second strike is only going to be 1d8. Got it. So that, but it's still an auto crit because mm -hmm. he, they hasn't ta hasn't taken a turn. Is this so it's only eight plus eight? Is that only an assassin feature? Yes. Okay. Just check. So it's eight plus eight plus a d8. Yep. So roll it. Plus four. Plus four. 
is an additional 20. 70 damage. More. Because with your two bow strikes, Thess goes down. He had 71 hit points. Dude, what? You did 54 plus 20. You did 74. What the As you just knock two arrows, draw back your bowstring. Head back and back of the head. (laughs) Release, and it just... As he collapses, the figure in the back of the cage does not move. Mm. The Dolgunt is still there. Okay. (laughs) Einar. Einar is going to cast... um... Your stealth what's, is broken now. What's the radiant yeah. one I do? <laughs> yeah, I'm that shocked. That I never used. Uh, Sacred Flame. Right. What well, your rogue uh, would have done to trace character last night if you didn't have that feature. Uh, uh, that's high. Okay. Uh, nice. <laughs> I haven't, this is the second time I've gotten to use does it <coughs> assassinate. Advantage? That's disadvantage. Yes. Yeah. It rolled a natural one on initiative. Oh. That's why I had the Mind Flayer smack it down. Beautiful. Uh, so instead of a 21, uh-huh. it rolls a 15. It fails. Oh. Nice. What was that? This Sacred is... Flame. Yep. Ooh. Yep. That radiant damage. I'm gonna I have now, this is the tentacle right boy. Here, yeah. Yes, because the Mind Flayer is dead. Yep. That's, um, That's how we do. 17 uh, radiant damage. Cool. And then... As Einar casts that, he is going to um, go through, like, go up to the door, and he's just going to place his shield down in front just to kind of draw attention to him if that thing uh, does okay. get a chance to actually attack. Okay. So you're in front of it? I'm in, like, kind of in, like, Are partially blocked. Are you at least 10 feet away? Um, how far away is it from? Are you like, five? It is your five feet in front of it. Okay. I would, mm, okay. Good. We'll go with it, yeah, either way. Oh, okay. You said that's good. That means you get sneak attack number Oh, what. yeah, true, true. And that also yep. means I get advantage. If you flank it, yeah. Let's go flank it. All right, yeah. it's my turn. Um, so as I do that, Kudo's going to like run and slide behind it, and I'm assuming you're casting Eldridge. No. Or, I'm oh, that's right. You have your sword. You have your sword. He that's said. Right. Yep. His squad. So how's it looking after that damage? It's looking bloodied. Cool. Then I'm not going to waste the spell slot. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna hit it twice. You don't use blight with again? my sword. Do what? I said <laughs> so you don't use blight. blight. That is yeah, a fourteen plus what? Like eleven. Ooh, all right. <laughs> so like, does Where a twenty-five it? hit? <laughs> Sorry, uh, does a twenty-four hit? Twenty-four. Does a twenty-four hit? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just checking. Okay. So this is gonna be two-handed because I can't find a d eight. <laughs> <laughs> What? Yeah, you can't find D8? Shush. I was gonna say, my dude. <laughs> I just rolled with him. I'm like okay. the D8 master over here. Woo! Nice. Alright, All right, so that's uh, 16. Damage? Yep. It's down. Cool. That was Dang. his exact hit points. Nice! nice. He all said, right. he said yeah, shot. Done. What the And then you all went. <laughs> swarmed yep, in. Yep, pretty was much. <laughs> At this same time, you sacred flamed it, ran around, and I just came. Yo, Risk I like quietly. stealth. Do, um, go, go. Nice work, gentlemen. Quick check. Make sure there is nothing else in the room. Because we didn't actually check that before we started fighting. Perception check. Are there any other it. enemies? Uh, can I also make one? Or is it, are we still in initiative <laughs> I rolled order? a four twice. No, you are out of initiative. Cool. That yeah. probably means there aren't any. But I'm still going to roll anyway. This is uh, perception. Yeah. Uh, I think that's only plus five. Riss will go. You all need me? That's 16. Signal me. I'm keeping watch. And 16, to... you look around, you don't see any, yeah, there's no dolgrims, no, no mind flayers, out of, nothing catches your eye. Out of curiosity, Einar is going to look down at the uh, mind flayer, and he's going to like, he's going to touch it with his left hand just to see if there's a chance he might still be able to absorb the soul. <laughs> Looks like no. Okay. Didn't think so. But Your it's ass not. isn't getting a mind flare. Get out of here. Listen, I've got... What, you what, know what, how... I, like, the fact that we one-shot that... He one-shot that thing has blown my mind. <laughs> a mind flare is only challenge rating 7. Those things suck. But, look, it felt Literally. a lot worse when we were... What level were we one? You were, like, level it? 3. Like, yeah. We were level 3? When you, when you encountered it before? <laughs> yeah, it was an overpowered fight then. Man. It wasn't this time. Dang. That's great. But yeah, um... 
Einar will look <laughs> up at the prisoner. Mm -hmm. He's gonna like knock against the bars. Okay. See if they respond. Don't come in. <gasps> uh, please give. Yeah. Do what? it again. Do it again. Einar doesn't say a word. He tries to hold up the okay. the hand signal. Don't come in. Stay right where you are. Do you know why we're here? I'm next. You, you see. By the way. Uh, do you have dark vision? I don't think I do. As a check, because Riss doesn't know that she's now looking for dark. Riss is going to turn around and ask in deep speech, "What's your name?" Let's see if he can trick. If it is a ab aberration, nothing. okay. <laughs> Riss goes, "Okay, good." Just skacking and looks back down the hall again. <laughs> okay. Einar puts up a hand. Yeah, I'm gonna make a perception check. Okay, All go right. for it. Uh, Riss I whispers. I just want to see like what's her condition at the moment. Okay. We actually, could I make that as like a medicine check, or am I too far away to make that? Um, medicine check. You're too far away to make a medicine okay. check. All right. So uh, perception. That's not great. It's um. Thirteen. Thirteen. From a distance, she looks tired. Probably hasn't had a lot of food and water. Does she seem like she has a level of exhaustion? No, or anything not like not quite okay. to that degree. But Chris is going to look, and with a passive perception of twenty, is there a lock anywhere on the cage? Uh, no. Is there a door on the cage? No. Nope. Yeah. It almost looks like this cage of bone and tendon could have been formed when a cage was needed. Mm, I don't like that. I don't like that either. What's your name? We don't mean any harm. Unless Keen. you're a mind flayer. My name is Keen. Keen. Who and are you? You, you do see as he holds up the curved hand symbol. Which uh, is something that you recognize. Even though he's not quite doing it. I, I know he's trying. <laughs> I know can't quite remember it. Kudo holds it up. I know looks at Kudo, who's ho holding it properly. He looks at his own hand. Adjust as necessary. <laughs> the crunch. Yeah, sorry, my fingers just do that. <laughs> the crunch. They do, yep, they, they do that without me oh, trying. Yes. That's... Kind of awesome. Um, and it's not. <laughs> Riss is, uh. Riss will come in the room and say, Someone keep watch real quick. Why can't we come in? Why I'll shouldn't we watch. come in? Why are you leaving the guy with a passive perception of 12 to keep watch? What's wrong with you two? We gotta get in somehow. Do you have Misty Step? Yes. Are you. That's good to know, though. I, I do not. You also can't carry someone with you with Misty yeah. Step. Correct. Yeah. It's Dimension Door that you have it. With Thunderstep. Yeah. Thunderstep. responds. Too. I'm not alone in here. Do I see anything in there? Make a perception check. I don't need to. Do I have to? Yeah. Why? I can see them. I can see things that are invisible or illusions. That's fine. Stealth is not invisible I, or can, illusion. I know he's going to look around. Yeah, the, make uh, a stealth check. Uh, I'm going to make a perception? perception check. 15. You don't see anything. 24. Yeah, That's BS. You don't see anything. <sighs> Einar's gonna look at her a little bit like she's crazy and go... Is it dark in there? Yes. Cool. Daylight. Okay. I don't know that that was a good Riss idea. upon Probably him doing not. that. Immediately... <laughs> Riss... I need you all to roll in this shit. Oh. <laughs> Brian! Brian! What? You 100% get inspiration for this. Yes! <laughs> What's you your intelligence modifier? How much you... Zero! <laughs> Okay, I, I guess I can accept it. You guys, if you had a spell like Daylight or something last night, you absolutely could have taken that Shadow Dragon. I know. Oh, yeah. But so we I already rolled in initiative dark. for the thing that's in there with her. It got a natural 20. Of course. Ooh, dead gummit! You must, right, well, I'm standing near the damn cage, too. Well, you walked over there. <laughs> I ain't happy about it. All right. 18. <coughs> Shite. 
I don't like that we have boss music. I know. Oh, this is the boss. 19. Keen. Good thing we one that shot that. Two shot those a things. 17. I'm kidding. Kudo. 10. Got it. I'm busy casting daylight. Yeah, you reach forward and boom, bright light fills the room. And you see a woman with slightly darker skin, long hair and a ponytail. And what is uh, what is uh, what is she wearing? Founder. Currently a blanket. That's fine. We'll we'll discuss it more later. Yeah. Um. She looks a little gaunt, but not to hey. the huh? Hey. <laughs> Due to lack of being given food. Oh, people offer me food. I just never eat it. <laughs> but what draws your attention more is the creature that drops down from being hidden in what you can now see is a massive cavity in the roof of the <laughs> chamber. There you are, you little bitch. Come get some. Jeez, flip. It's still trying to... As this huge creature a freaking known no! as a dragon no! spider. This is... I blame Kiara for this because she drew this and I knew yep. about this. We homebrewed it together. We sat down and said, let's make a dragon spider. Is this revenge for that king bamboo spider? At Maybe. The Damn it. <laughs> oh, as yeah. this draconic creature with eight legs covered in spines and horns and a mouth that opens up by splitting in four. Dang, you broke things. Not yet. The it's speaker fine. gets inspiration. There we go. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh oh, hold on. This is Yeah, scroll down. No, no, no. I'm talking about like Aza. I'm like, oh, this is another campaign character. Hmm? No, no, no. You no. said your name was Aza? No, Keen. hers is Keen. Keen. I got in my head that her name was Aza. I was like, hold on, because I saw the Kestrel. I was like, wait, what? Never mind. No. Yes. Aza so, and Riss are the twins, the, the, uh, the rogues. Yes. It is going to attack the bars because it was. <laughs> um. So it's. Uh, no, it's just gonna, yeah, it's gonna bite the bars. Hey, I'm fine with that. Uh, for a 28 to hit. Cool. Yeah, I'm less happy about that. Low battery. <laughs> this. Do you have a plug for it? Yes. Yeah, yeah it's gonna do that, like, every minute or two uh, until no, it gets charged. Very needy that's speaker. They, that, that's how they all are. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. This giant change, creature it, falls from the that? ceiling. Low Shut battery. Out. Charge me, damn it. <laughs> Shout out in the middle of a session. Low battery. Charge me, you dick. Over there. <laughs> charge me and then get some sleep. <laughs> uh, all of Trey's technology should shout at him. Uh, yeah, charge me and get some sleep. <laughs> okay, that could have been a lot worse. Uh... So that's nine piercing damage against the bars. Um, Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless As you see, its jaws just <laughs> clamp around this these bars made of bone, and you watch them crack. They don't break yet, though. Uh, because it rolled a natural 20. It goes again. It's going to make another attack. Cool. Uh, where it's going to use its uh use its legs to just kind of just at least they're on pull it apart. Uh, cool. That hits. Second attack hits. Third attack hits. Fourth attack is a nat twenty. I'm just gonna save that between those rolls and the natural twenty. It just. 
the bone cage is destroyed. It stands in front of all of you. Ah! But that is its turn. Einar, you're up! <laughs> I'm casting! Uh... <laughs> I don't want to die. Um, I'm casting Shield of Faith on myself as a bonus action. I... On you? Yes, on me! I don't want to die! Also, I'm technically neutral evil, so of course I'm only going to cast it on myself. You dick! He doesn't yep. know you! Th that fair. is true. That is true. <laughs> Ray right. would have the right Can to call him dick. Cast Kudo them. can't say shit. That's fair. Okay, it's just not... Oh, he can say something. He's got a five. spider dragon staring him down. Yeah. <laughs> Additional magic. To be fair, two. it is staring Einar down because you are to the side of the entrance. Oh, that's right. To be fair, it has eight eyes. It is staring all of you down. Don't that's like also that. true. Don't like that. That's true. <laughs> cool. um, you get that checked out. <laughs> this thing's right. got lazy eyes. <laughs> so you cast Shield of yeah, Faith, no and just this problem. this dark, uh, almost holographic energy begins to surround you. Um, I'm going to, uh, whip it in the face. I Go for it. <laughs> back, beast. Back. <laughs> That's Ooh, a 27 to hit. Uh, that'll hit. Good. Yep. Never sure. Always good to check. So that is, <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> it's one psychic damage. God. And then, uh, nine slashing. So, ten total. Yes. Cool. Does it take it all? It does. Sweet. Okay, so it's not a, like good, a good little spider, spider dragon. Into psychic. <laughs> yep. My uh, I, hex was wasted. Um, did not mean it to go that way. Could have been, but did not. Einar is also going to try and scooch around it to get kind of... I will say, uh, because your hex was something done out of initiative order and the mind player was killed... I can. I will 100% say that the mind player was killed before you had the chance to finish casting the hex. So you still have. Yeah, because this dude one shot him. Yeah. Well, two shot technically. <laughs> two shot, but yes. Yes. What? So you. I. I, okay. I, I think it's Sorry. more than one fair turn. that you two still shots. have your hex. Okay. Because you literally didn't do anything with it. It's not like even like you didn't take advantage of it. Yeah. It literally happened within the space of a second where you would have cast it and it would have been killed. Okay. So. You still got it. No problem. Okay. All right. Yeah. I know so, would like to kind of try to get towards one side of it so that um, we can kind of spread out its... Um, okay. Uh, and you notice that, like, the walls are kind of retracting, and so the area is all of bigger. a sudden much larger than it was before as this thing is moving around. Uh, is it moving the walls or the walls? No, the moving walls for are it. The walls are moving for it. Okay. Yeah. That's what I wanted to distinguish. Where what 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 once was a kind of a hallway and area that you could stand in maybe twenty feet wide between the wall and the door and maybe like forty feet across, and then a chamber that was another twenty feet back. Mm -hmm. Now that is all one open space, maybe sixty feet across. Where these walls have just retracted in the way you, you haven't seen them move this much since you got inside, but you just hear this cracking of bone and sinew as it just don't sh like that. As, that one it, bit. as if it's a living creature almost. As it's Eris has problems. It does. The world has problems. That's why we're here. We're the outsiders. Out we ain't gotta deal with this. <laughs> hmm. Well, it's a world. Yeah. You're a problem creator, but the problem solvers. No. <laughs> so, is that your turn? Um, yeah, there's nothing else I can do. Okay. I use my action, bonus action, and movement. Got it. So, so. you've moved around it. Cool. Yep. We'll say I'm on its... It was facing me. I'm on its right side. Can... Keen... So, Keen's now able to move. Yes, Keen was uh, not moving in order not to draw this thing's attention. Ah. Because if it, if I move, it moves. But Understood. He's moving. You're so welcome. It doesn't matter anymore. That's why I gave you inspiration for that. <laughs> this, is like, this is gonna screw you. But I like it. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> so it is absolutely something this character would have done. It is, which is a hundred percent. Yeah, I, I'm going to reward that. I like it. 
I risk. risk. This isn't your main, so if he dies, yeah. no. <coughs> no, I don't, he's already died. Yeah. Oh. He did. Uh, yeah, he's he going to. Die once. Nice. Yeah, he'll just go ahead and two attacks with his uh, short sword. He'll draw. Go for it. Along with the axe. I just realized I no longer have somebody who can revivify me. Because Not Ray still has all my spell scrolls. I gave them to Risk. Uh, I yeah, I assume he would have okay. given them. Okay. How many did I give you? Uh, I have Dude. one revivify and five cure more? wounds level two. I probably have eight revivify. You have eight um, revivify. I assume you moved, so it's easy for me to flank it. You. Oh, me? Uh, yeah, technically, moved. with where he would have moved, uh, you Kudo would... is currently flanking. Okay. okay. You Roll might gun. be able to flank with um with Keen. Oh, I can flank with Keen then. Yeah. How big is this thing? Uh, oh, it is a huge creature. With the... Three by three. Taking up the whole the darn the room. Best. Gotcha. Oh, that's true. So I that's don't have that one. Twenty six to hit. That'll hit. And twenty two. Oh, I should give you access. To I'm that. pretty sure. Twenty six and twenty two to hit. Twenty six. Bonus action first. Bonus action first to cast Hunter's Mark. <coughs> and then I will do uh, damage. So. Sneak attack, hunter's mark, short sword. Okay. And psychic damage, d4. That's a lot of threes. Nine, 15. So nine, 26 damage on the first hit. Got it. And then hunter's mark. Ooh, very nice. 17 damage on the second hit. 17 on the second hit. Got it. It is looking just fine. Yep, yep I figured. <laughs> Alright, that your turn? Uh-huh. Alright, Keen. You're up. Please smack it. I Dude, what? what? Uh, she has a sword. How? Because they're dumb and they don't know to uh, yeah. disarm people before they take them prisoner? It, less so well, that, more so it wouldn't have mattered with this thing guarding her on, and her on her own. That's true. Mm. That's true. Mm. Can't argue with that kind of logic. Because right. you die. Sorry, I'm not really used to my spells yet. It's okay. No Take trust your time. Spell oh, Lord, yeah, there's comparison. She's got a sword and she's a spellcaster. Yes. She. Eldritch Knight. Mm -hmm. Possibly? It's not denied. I'm not saying anything. Just watch and find out. Mm. She does three attacks, it's definitely Eldritch Knight. <laughs> okay, <Yeah. laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> I've never played one. So I have a question. I yes. Have... Thirsting Blade, you can attack with your pack weapon twice that's whenever you take this. the attack action on your turn. Yeah, that's Does that stack yeah. with the two attacks that you can make with a regular attack? No. That is why you have two attacks. No. I feel like I knew that. No, those are separate. It does not stack. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you're just going for damage, Firebolt. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Always Firebolt. Oh, you're we have right. another Ray. Or in the holiday if she hits herself. <laughs> uh, she's never played one of these before. But um, then she will cast Firebolt. I. At the boy. I the big boy. So, sir. Roll the hit. That is a 24 to hit. Hits. That a girl. And Sheesh. I would say you would know... Uh, Maybe not to use fire, just because like, I just realized that. Oh, yeah. You living with drain. it for a little while? Probably. Huh? Uh, would I know what it is? If you're Katie? a sorcerer and you have a way cold, to change your magic, change it. That's only if that's only if you take that. It's one form of meta magic. Yeah. And I think you can only do it to level spells anyway. No, I don't no, think so. No, you can so. do it to any spell, I think. Because oh, okay. it, it costs Ray a Frost point to do it. Do it. Okay, yeah. then... Frost. Oh, good. It doesn't like cold damage. It's not that it doesn't like cold damage. It's that it's not resistant to cold damage. Got it. Right. it? Well, um, that is 16 that. cold damage. 16 cold damage. Not bad. Mm -hmm. You know what sucks? As you see, her okay. kind of stand... I assume you stand up. By this point, yes. Yeah. <laughs> stand up that? and kind of just <laughs> gather this cold energy in her hand and then... What? What sucks? What sucks is that I went on a recon mission before this. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a chance to rest. So I don't have any of my damage spells. So I only have cantrips and my whip. 
I can heal just fine, though. <coughs> good. That's good. Keep that in mind. It's true. You haven't rested since the museum. I have not. It's my turn. Mm. Uh, it is now. Is, is that the end of your turn? Uh, sorry. It's okay. Take your time. No, no issue. Uh, that is all I will do for now. All right. Okay. Uh, so Kudo, you're up. Yes, let's make a bitch. Hmm. Can I get to a uh, spot where I'm flanking with somebody? You, you are, are already flanking, flanking with, with Einar. All right, I like it. <laughs> All right, we go and smack him with the long sword. Only one handed though. That was a nine the first time, right? That was a six. Five. Six the first time. I, I mean, I didn't get a good enough look to see what. No, it was a nine. It was right. It was that one. So that's a nineteen to hit. Uh, it hits. Nice. nice. Okay, I like that a lot. Give me a D eight. There we go. Cool. I was about to say, does it have a uh, lower AC than all of us? And then I looked at Kudo and went, Oh no, probably not. Mm -mm. <sighs> Damn. So fifth, uh, seven slashing damage. Sorry, ten slashing damage. Oh, bonus action hex. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I got a lot of stuff to do here. Sorry. It's learning, okay. Learning this character. Still. All right. Ten slashing damage. Five okay. cold damage. Okay. And an additional plus five because it's hexed. So, 20 damage. 20 damage total? Uh, 25 damage. 25 yeah, 20 damage. damage. 20 damage total. Sorry. Got it. Very nice. 20 damage total. Okay. That's the first attack. Second attack. Go for it. You're not doing well for me. 15? Yeah, 15. Misses. Yeah. Wait. Okay. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I like how that's become one of our favorite phrases. Mm-hmm. Wait, Getting a little rowdy up there. Can I do this? Can I? Can I add anything to it? No. Okay, that's <laughs> that's all I can do. That's all I got. Dragon's turn. He can try. Don't say that. <laughs> yes, four attacks. You're literally trying all of us. Uh, out of all of us, I have the highest AC. Please try for me most. The person standing directly in front of it. It would be Riss. Would be Riss or Kudo. Hit me, bitch. I'm going to roll a d4. Okay. I want to be odd. Okay. okay. Make me number four. It's going for whoever's in front of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so if it's odd, it goes for Riss. Can you still make me number four? Two. All right, hit Kudo. Me. Let's go. I, that is a... Natural one. Hit it. 23 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Uh, they'll smack him. Four... I hate that it wouldn't have hit me. Uh, 12 piercing damage. Okay. And you have to make a constitution saving throw. Why? You're about to be a... Spider dragon. What? You're about to be Phantom. infected. Uh. Well, not infected. As you see, Poison. its mouth yeah. split open in four directions. Ooh. As it Risk just her. reaches forward. For the second time, I'll go, and Dear Horia. <laughs> constitution saving throw? Yup. You're pretty good at those. Oh, no, I you're a <laughs> Not natural 20. That fails. That <gasps> fails? Oh, dude, I'm not getting hit. I can't that. roll any higher than that. That's a 19 on the die. You only have a plus one? Yes. You have to roll in that 20 to, to pass. Yes. Uh, DC 22. Good. Dude, that's hard for me to pass. <laughs> I have the highest constitution saving throw. You have to roll in at 20 for that. Yeah. Uh, I can roll a 19. One of those 22. 22. What does yeah. it do? Uh, <laughs> I just plan not to get hit. So by it. that's 126 poison damage because it rolled really, really, really high. Good God! Hellish rebuke. <laughs> that's fair. Hellish um, rebuke as you go down, bitch. <laughs> Good. Do you have anything that can keep you up? <laughs> no, I have him. That's fair. Yeah, I can get you back. Can't keep you up. Um. <laughs> Good lord. 
six poison, poison damage, poison damage. Good lord. Yeah, on your turn. Yeah. Poison damage. Uh, uh, so are you sure it's okay. not fire damage. Yes, important. Fine, okay. it's got to make a dex saving throw. It does. Uh, he said twenty-eight. Oh my god! It takes half damage. <laughs> One, Good two, three, god. four, five, six. Hasbro says, "Dear Arya." <laughs> that they open its mouth. He said, "Dear Arya." <laughs> wow, three ones. Oh, Dang. buddy. And two tens, so twenty-four. Half to twelve. Half to six. Half to six, because it is resistant to fire damage. <laughs> As you watch it just go shh, and retract, and you watch Kudo just drop to his knees. Risk uh, kind of like eyes are wide like. You are not required to make saving throws. Uh, because uh, you are stable but poisoned for one hour. It's a Wait. spider. Uh, it's keeping you for lunch later. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> So I'm are, incapacitated. You are currently paralyzed. Okay. Nice. And also unconscious. Nice. Yeah. So yes, uh, so but that I is but do... that is all it can do in so a single I, turn. I oh, have is that to all? do yes two separate spells to bring him back because I mean, I'd have to heal to him. get him, bring him back, and have him up and running. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And oh man. That's right, I know. Real quick. Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd get rid of the poison first. Good to know. Okay. It is your turn now, Einar. <sighs> How big this thing is three around, so I think I can get to I can get go all the way around it, but I can get to Yeah, you can. Him barely. Yeah. Um Cause she's not within five feet of it yet. Cause she had to stay back to not get disadvantage on Ray of Frost. So you can go past her, past where she is. Okay. Dang, with that cool. issue. All right. So I'm going to go all the way around to Kudo. Yep. Okay, so here's the thing, though. You told me, Noah, that he was poisoned. Make would a I... medicine check. Is it, mm. Would that cost my turn? No. All right. It's a giant Can I give myself spider. guidance? Or would no. that? No. Okay. Medicine check of 28. Yeah, you know that with this kind of poison, um, even if he regains his hit points, he's still paralyzed. So, it's more important to get rid of the poison condition. Okay. Um, which one of my things gets rid of? I believe Lesser Restoration can remove the poison. Yep, it can. Okay. Um, which level is that? That's Shoot. second. Okay. Um, Go like this guy. Yeah, so Einar is going to lean down and he's going to cast Lesser Restoration. Yeah, it's not looking bloody at all. <laughs> not yet. Um, do I have a bonus action? That Shines can... That's a leveled spell. I can't do that as a bonus action. Um, hold on, what's my. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, let me look at my channel Divinity real quick. Yep. Uh. Cool. Uh, I'm going to expend one of my uses. Okay. To um, not have to. Uh, wait, which is this? Uh, oops, that's the wrong one. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> um, I'm going to, um, as a bon my bonus action, I'm okay. going to expend one of my uh, channel divinities to harness, to divine, harness power. divine power. Go for it. So that I regain that uh, spell slot back. Got it. Very nice. So cool. boop. Let me go take that spell slot back. Thank you. And that's the only thing that Einar can do. Okay. Uh, next in the order is Riss. Huh. You yeah. watch as you kind of just reach over and from the wounds all over his body, you kind of just draw out this black and green poison that the dragon spider injected into your companion's body. Mm. Riss is going to shout, Girl? We're leaving. Get over here. And then <laughs> two attacks. <laughs> okay. Make two attacks. 
Two 16s plus 11. For each of them? Yep. Yes, they both hit. Perfect. And that's going to be... Because they're still within five feet. So sneak attack, Hunter's Mark, and then psychic damage. Oh, that's much better. 10, 18, 19, 26 for the first. And then second one is just Hunter's Mark. And, oh, actually. Yes, 26 for the first. 17 for the second. Okay, for a total of? 21 for the first, 17 for the second? 26 for the first. Got it. 17 for the uh, 41. 43. 43. Yep. All right, it is looking bloodied. I've, we're still, I mean, depending on who gets hit this one, we're gone. <laughs> <laughs> Disengage for your action, we'll head out. Anyways. All right, uh, Keen, you're up. All action, right. Oh, what was that? Okay, sorry. Hit this um, thing, please. I know. I have never. I'm just a healer. Or I'm unparalyzed. Oddly me. evil healer. You are unparalyzed. I am, but I'm still yeah. down. You're still yes. down. You're at zero hit points, but removing the poisoned condition so were, removes paralyzed because it's. <laughs> you are like locked it's, in. You are paralyzed oh, okay. while poisoned in this way. Okay. So this... you don't have the. They weren't separate conditions affecting you. It was one thing that he removed. Does he still have <coughs> healing? Yes, he is still at zero hit points. I um, am unconscious. Bonus action, disengage. I, you, you didn't move, though, so it doesn't matter. Listen, he still wants to do something with his bonus action. <laughs> okay. And being Will. Can, right. you, can you dodge? No, you can no, only dash, no. dash, hide, or disengage. Got it. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you, if I could dodge as a bonus action. I mean, if okay. you want Monks, to move in a to... way that arranged for somebody to get, you know, advantage on attacks, that might not be bad. Uh, cure wounds. You're shining. Oh, oh hi! This I'm person. still tenderly giving her advantage. Uh, so she walks. Oh, up. cure wounds! All right. Yeah, she walks over and just, again, this energy just gathers in her hand and pff, roll, roll your healing. Look at her playing healer two days in a row. Okay, all right. I know. Helping, and helping the. That's not much. Actually, that if is. you, by the way, if you uh spend a sorcery point, you don't need to move. You can cast it at distance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will do. Oh, I like you that. got the what's that distance spell? Is, what, is that nice. distance spell? Uh, that is fifteen health for you, 15? so you are on your feet. Nice. And with my bonus action, I am going to cast Dragon's Breath on myself. Uh, unfortunately, that's a second level spell. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, however, you didn't use your bonus action last bonus turn. Action. Yes, so uh, the way spell casting works is that it, you can't cast, even if one is an action and one is a bonus action, you can't cast yeah, two spells true. that are level one or higher. Level, However, true. last turn, when you, uh, I'm gonna, I'm, because you couldn't have done anything with it anyway, mm -hmm. I will say you could have done it last turn because you only used a cantrip as your action. Okay. So you could have done that as a bonus action then. So I will say you can retroactively do that. All right. Yeah, because it's because you're learning how to do this. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, how much healing do you give him? 15. Uh, 15 total. 15 total? That was at 4th level? Yeah, I rolled really low. Uh, you can, well, you have another thing you can do. Uh, mm -hmm. empowered healing. You can spend one sorcery point to re-roll any number of those dice. Okay, I'll just re-roll all four. Can I take which ones? Yeah. Okay. So if you uh, had any high rolls, keep those. I don't remember where to find the history of my rolls. I don't think you can. Do you, do you remember no, any I of them? Okay. Wait, did, so, did you roll it on on D Beyond? I did. Yeah. So oh, you rolled no, a one, it, it three, is, it is two, there. and a three. A one, three, two, and three? I that's, so that's what I'm seeing on here. That's, yeah, I would just go ahead and re-roll all of them. Mm -hmm. Um that is an eighteen. Uh, oh, plus 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 six. six. So twenty four. There we go. Much better. Much better. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Sorcerers have a lot going on. Yeah, they do. I miss Apparently. my sorcerer. They're fun. But they really um, cool. Also, too, you do want to. Well, I guess if we're fighting, we can fight it. But because now that you're up, this is a lot less panicked. Yep. It also hasn't gone yet, though. Well, it's also. It is also now is, Kudo's turn. Yep. You got back up and unparalyzed before your turn even came around. Yep. So <laughs> Kudo goes right. <laughs> right. What we got? What does that do? 
Bonus action, branding smite. Oh, I do like a good smite. And I'm gonna attack him twice. Okay, go for it. Smack him. I have advantage because I'm flanking. Mm. Right? Uh, uh, no, not anymore. No, if you I move, move you? if you move closer towards where Keen is, uh, you'll be flanking with Riss. All right, let's do that then. Okay, go for I'm it. Not leaving its range. Yep. Correct. So, 26 Hits. for the first attack. Nice. Higher. One hits. Hits. Cool. Okay. So, D8 plus a D4. Dang straight. So, D8 six plus fold a D4. damage. Okay. D6. Oh, okay. <laughs> 12 slashing damage. Okay, so 18. Yep. One. Two. So that's five, eight, ten. So you know what I just realized? Sixteen. You just pulled twenty. A godforsaken Goroth on me doing that daylight. It's like wrist approaches the cage. And it's like if I lose an eye, I will have something to say about it because I I rely on range with this character. <laughs> we can just get you a new one. We're in Eris. Oh, so that's, I thought you meant a new true. character. <laughs> <laughs> I rely on range with this character. It's fine. We can get you a new one. <laughs> 20 radiant damage. Aight. Not bad. Plus another 9 slashing damage. For the second attack. 4 cold damage. Okay. I was going to say, I will live by carrying through you. Uh, Branding smite goes away after the first attack. It does? Like, yeah. mm, yes. Smite them. Says it lasts a minute. <laughs> Kill yes, uh, uh, and it go, but it goes on your first hit. The next time you hit a creature with a weapon attack before the spell ends, it's if you aren't able to hit it the next turn. It's oh, not okay. wasted. Yeah. Oh, I thought it kept going. Nope. Well, that sucks. You just did 20 extra damage to it. Yeah, but he did 74 earlier. Listen, bud. Wait. That was... Two attacks... On a surprise creature that were auto crits. Do you know how much damage you would have done if that was a crit? A lot. Yeah, yeah. so shish. How's it look? Bad. It cool. looks hurt. Hang on. Good. Let me see something. Because we got to survive another round of its attacks. Yes, you do. Cool. Action surge. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Okay. <laughs> Freak, right. Freaking men <laughs> Yep. Yes! Natural 20. Oh, okay. Lord. Glad that wasn't done on, when, on the one where you had Branding Smite. <laughs> yeah, that would have sucked. So, but you. that still is so that's, 10 plus 5 plus uh, 6. He goes 21. But yep. Roll a D10. I'm not going to get hit. Roll a D10. <laughs> no, D8. It's only one handed. Kudo Why? came back with a because vengeance. He did, yeah. I guess it doesn't really matter because I get eight. I get a D8 plus 7 or a D10 plus 5. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so... It if, it was, if you intended to make it a... a D, uh, one handed, then it would have been one handed. So okay. that's eight yeah. plus seven. So mm -hmm. it's still 21 plus eight, the D8. Uh, another 10. What? Five on the D8, five on the D6 for gold. Got damage. it. Thank you. So that is Got a it. total of 31. Cool. There you go. Still up. Second attack. Yep. Come on one now. So close. So uh -oh. it hits. It's hexed, right? It is hexed. Does that go away when you go unconscious? Oh no! Oh, that's a lot of damage I was taking away too. I think though, it right? does. It does. When uh, you're once per short rest, as a bonus action, choose one creature. Uh, Most spells. Do. Wait, 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 wait. This is an ability. This is a class no, feature. No, yeah, it's you were incapacitated because ah. it's uh, or or until the target dies, you die or you are incapacitated. Damn. Mm. Okay. You roll a nineteen, which would have been a crit. Yep. If I got some champion stuff going on over there. Dang. Okay. So another 11 slashing damage. Okay. And two cold damage. Okay. It is still up. It is. What is this? Once very sure hurt. This, you can use. So action surge, one additional action. So I can only. Yep. Okay. I use my bonus action. I'm yes, done. Did. Okay. Hello. <laughs> not look happy bitch uh it's going for you again <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard, like it's 
saved his <laughs> face past Einar, and I was just like, what, I'm not good enough to get fought? Chris is like, shut up. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, uh, you okay. need to make... Uh, no, wait, Atsy, wait. No, it has to roll the hit. We'll see. Oh, it does? Yep. Shoot. Shoot. I have a max AC of 29, so I wanted to hit yep. There's a 14 on the die. Oh, that Lord. is a 27 to hit. Yeah, that hits. You wouldn't have hit me. Mm. What? It wouldn't have hit me. I have a max AC of 29. Impressive. Dang. Regardless, uh, you are restrained. As it gathers up, you watch as it opens its jaws and these small, like... Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh, what, what's, the, what's the name of Mandibles? it? Mandibles? Palips. Palips is Palips, the technical okay. name for what a spider has. Okay. Kind of just gather this sphere of webbing in its mouth as it spins it and prepares and... And, like, and you just get hit by this <clears throat> sphere of webbing and are stuck up against the wall. Uh, you little bastard. <laughs> that is its one attack, though. Oh, hallelujah. Ah! It can only make multiple attacks if it's using its legs. Good. Einar, you're up. Stand there cool. and look like I'm it. I'm going to whip it. Okay. But I'm going to move... Right in the butt. Right in front of it. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I'm going to manage with him. <laughs> and also, true. because then I can incur it to attack me, because I have the highest AC. Fair. Bro, you're probably going to just kill it at this point. I might. Oh, it's Please possible. do. Oops. Okay. So you don't, okay. I will. <laughs> oh, well. That's uh, 21 to hit. There Hits. we go. Come on now. Did you attack twice or just once? I'm a cleric, dude. That's right. This, that's, that's, this weapon, it's a weapon I have because I have the darkness. Yeah. He's, he's he has dark the... Player. Ooh! Finally. That's um, eight psychic and um, eight slashing. Okay. Still up. Oh! Finish it off, Riss. Riss, you're up. Take it out. All right, so two attacks with advantage. One's going to be natural 20. Yes! So, I would like to make an acrobatics check for flavor just to run up the back of it, jump up, and slam the sword down. Absolutely, because how do you want to do this? Yes! Very much. He'll just... Beautiful. All right, he turns away from me. I assume that thorax-looking thing looked like it was a nice ramp up onto its back. Sure, yeah. <laughs> right into the center of his body. Yeah, you run up and take your Isaiah's short sword and just shoo! And you watch as just... And he'll twist it as well. And it collapses. As you see Keen see this thing that had been threatening her for who knows how long <coughs> collapse in front of her. Bristle will lower go, can you leave now? Yeah. First thing <sighs> Einar's gonna do... He's gonna go over to uh, Kudo I was and get him out of this damn thing. Out of it. <laughs> if you, you all are pretty dumb, just run and do that. But okay. Yep, Listen, we get that a lot. We do that <laughs> on a like regular basis. Riss is going to get off and touch each of them, and use his cloak of uh, something or other. I forget the name. Um, so the ah, no, no, it's not. No, you're you. You're, it's um, his muse ability, isn't yes. it? Yes. Oh. And I'm going to essentially mark us all as aberrations. As far as they're concerned. Yep. That would have been great to do beforehand. I didn't think about it. <laughs> uh, kudo, make an athletics check. Also, who needs healing? Um, natural wow. 20. I'm out. <laughs> he, is, he is pissed off. He was like, <laughs> and you kind of just burst out of the webbing. Are your dice... I picked a different die for that. <laughs> that was the first roll of the night on that particular die. I could use 11 healing, but that's it. I'm actually fine. I was 11. not touched except for that first, uh, whatchamacallit, that thing we faced. I have 111 as my max. I'm at 24. Well, yes, would he needs like it more. more I would love more healing. He's like, you all do that, and Riss will cast Pass Without Trace as we start to make our way out. And as she, what are you healing him with? Uh, cure wounds at third level. Yeah, third level. I'll also give you a third level 20. cure wounds. Twenty. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, Let's get the pass without here. trace. As you begin, you get another twenty-five. 
Dang gun, they're just... Sorry. That is where we're going to end tonight's session. Oh, oh shit. No, man. I need to be able to get out of here because I don't want to be here, Trey. I know. <laughs> no! <laughs> but hey, we shall see the remainder of your escape next time. Thank you very much for joining. <laughs> and see you next week. Good night.